Clippy pops up. Whoa, buddy. Looks like you're trying to breathe in asbestos. Do you need some help? <laughs> it's okay. Look, it's 2020. Everybody has P2 masks anyway now. That's true, actually. It's, it's probably <laughs> the safest time in history to have asbestos in your gaming console. Hi everyone, this is Kirby. Welcome to the Real Game School Podcast. This week I'm joined by Matt. Hi. And Cameron. Howdy. Here at Real Game School, we like to discuss all things Xbox, achievements, and being on the wrong side of cancel culture. This week we talk about how much we've enjoyed xCloud, always missing the newsy McBoatface, and a healthy game of Count the Edits Matt had to do so we don't get arrested. <laughs> but first, here's the song of the week. Game says... You need a bigger gun You won't make it without it You say I'm giving it a go It's okay man, there's a checkpoint anyway Game says you're going to die soon Controller thrown across the room Wanna close the game forever you're gonna play tomorrow. You're gonna win tomorrow. Um, I'm completely uh, lost. Uh, the the only one that it it vaguely sounds like, and I know it's definitely not the only song it vaguely reminds me of, is um. Uh, oh, the, who's gonna drive you home tonight? Yeah, no. do, 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 do. Like I, yeah. but I know it's definitely not that. No, but that's it. The, is not. I feel like maybe we should leave that for the listeners because I yeah, know I think you know. so. I think so because yeah. yeah, I already know it. Um, so I think what it's uh, yeah. I'll I'll, we'll, I'll let you guys in on the secret afterwards. Uh, mm-hmm. But yeah, let's let's throw that one out to the listeners. Thanks, Tarragon, for uh, recording that one. No prizes, just. I just want you to be with no prizes. You're not you getting anything rights. for that. Yeah, no, there's, no, there's, yeah, there's, there's, no, there's, there's, since when were we generous? There's, no, there's none of that. Absolutely yeah. not. The, the only thing they get is kudos, and they might not even get. And that. He, even then, we'll see, we'll see how. What the, well, I'll see what the song was going. Mm, yeah, I, I don't think I respect you for knowing that. <laughs> <laughs> respect you a lot less. Um, if you wanted to throw your answers for no prizes, uh, you could do so on the Discord. Uh, discord.io slash real gamer score come join in the conversation ask us podcast questions uh chat about the podcast join our boosting sessions get abused by me a little bit but um the safe word is uh avocado oh mine's I'm... banana we're not going to go into actuality but avocado <laughs> works if i if you say avocado I'll, no- I'll know to back off it's fine yeah no come join it's tons of fun we usually we usually up all hours because I work early and time zones and all that nonsense. Um, if you'd like to give us some money, you can do so on Patreon, patreon.com slash realgamerscore. Um, we've had our monthly draw for this past month that's just happened. And the winner is Ghostly Shinobi. Woo! Woo. So Good congratulations job. to you. Um, I definitely actually... No, that's. I'll deal with that later. I'm I'm ninety percent sure this is the person that won, but I can't. It's not the. Like, it's not their name, and I can't remember. It's the real. Yeah. You, yeah. Okay. We, we, I'm, we I'm will, pretty, we will I'm verify. Like, I'm. Regardless, you get something. If it's not you anyway, I'll just give you like something little because I've called you a winner anyway. But I'm ninety nine percent sure that this person is goes to Shinobi. Um, so contact me either on Discord or on True Achievements and you can get your prize, which is an ID at Xbox title. Awesome source. Uh, next up, we had our random to-do list uh, contest, and that was for the prize Shopkeep, which was another game with the word keep in the title. Um, threw one name in the hat, pulled one name out. Congratulations, Hack and Pwn. <laughs> oh, I mean, wow. Look, one in a, one in a landslide. Good you get, job, you got to yeah. be in it to win it. Literally. He was in it, and he won it. There's, I mean, hey, you, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Michael Scott, right? 
Yes, how the table's... Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> I always, oh, I always, nearly, I always stuff it up because I actually think of the correct and normal and sensible bloody sentence. Yeah, well, I guess the the days are long gone where I would, you know, win every competition. Yeah. So I guess you know. I know. Um, the current month's random to do list contest is another game with the word arena in it for the prize of Rocket Arena. Ignore the fact that it's uh, in EA Play and EA Play is joining Xbox Game Pass Ultimate in November. Just. Ignore that fact. A- ignore um, subscriptions. Acquire video games. Yeah, yeah, we're all good. Besides, great you can for, sell it probably if you want. Great, great for the ones that don't have Game Pass. Yeah, I mean, look, people have entered. I just said, person has entered. <laughs> just get in it. Like, it's a free game. Get in there. Yeah. Easy. Why not? Give it to someone who doesn't have Game Pass Ultimate. Like, you, I don't care what you do with it. Like, you can give it to someone else if you want. I don't mind. But it's yours once I've given it to you. I don't care. Um, moving on, we have our Real Game Score Word Challenge that I definitely announced in this segment last week. So, congratulations to everyone who heard that at the start of the show. Um, so Yeah, right. I definitely edited the show to put this right in the beginning part naturally, and it didn't just come up in the last minute when you read the title on us cards. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. Yeah, uh-huh. Um, so I'll, just to recap, on. I will because I, I said it was a game last week. I kind of wanted to give you a freebie clue because I, I, this is what I intended by that. It is a game that is on the Xbox platform, so it's a game you can play on the Xbox family of systems. So, like, uh, we had a guest called Qu- of Queen's Quest. Yeah, nah, nah. I'm sorry. That was unfortunately that was not it because I didn't specify. That's my fault. That's okay. There's your freebie clue. Last week's actual clue was 92. And this week's clue to go along with it is January 2010. That is now... That also means that the price has jackpotted up another 10 US dollars or currently equivalent to 20 now. Um, every time I give every time we give a clue towards that, we will bump it up a little bit. Um, so it may turn into a fortnightly clue, weekly, depending on... We'll see how people are going. We had a lot of guesses, but... Um, to, yeah, a lot of interesting guesses, so that's why I wanted to throw out the, the fact that it's on the Xbox platform family. Not Xbox as in the next gen consoles, because they're just called Xbox. <laughs> it'll be on the it'll be on the basically you can get um TA for it, basically. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, to recap, ninety two and January two thousand and ten. So enjoy those clues. Hopefully that helps. Actually, you know what? Hopefully it hinders. Honestly, hopefully it hinders. And that Jay Black doesn't yeah. not even listen to the show and go, you know what? I bet it's this and throw it in. And he probably doesn't it's even it. sound like that. That's the worst thing. I've just mocked it. I've done the Alex <laughs> voice. And I didn't even mean to. I'm just annoyed at how this, good he is. Like, honestly. is this what Canadians sound like to you? He's Canadian, yeah. isn't he? Oh, sure. that reminds me. I need to add the Canuck. Um, Orca. Yes. Orca. You do. Yep. I do. I did. I definitely did it as soon as I got home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as as of as of the time you're listening to this, it's already going to be on here, so I can just edit this bit out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll move on to news from there. The in in fine tradition, the moment the moment we put out the show for last week, after delaying it to make sure all the news had come out, the uh, Series X price got dropped because, of course, it did. And you know what? We're not going to delay it to see what the PlayStation 5 price is because we know they're just going to delay their show again. So, like, why bother? Just we just got to live it up and be a week late on everything. Mm-hmm. But yeah. yeah, it has dropped at the same price that the Xbox One X has uh, dropped at. It was four ninety nine US. I think that's six eighty Canadian, four ninety nine Euro, four forty nine pound, seven hundred and fifty Australian. Which, uh, what, 800 yeah. New Zealand? Yeah, so I, I went to the store um, just for an unrelated reason, and they happened to talk me into like pre ordering or putting myself down on the list to pre order because pre orders aren't available yet. And they were mm-hmm. like, oh, yeah, it'll be like 700 bucks. And I was like, okay, are they doing like a pre order deal or something? Are they really trying to get people into it? So um, I don't know. Again, the, I believe the official pricing is 750 Australian, uh, 800 New Zealand. Mm-hmm. But whether the retailers are going to try and push it, um, and maybe take a bit of a loss on it or do a bundle. I mean, yeah. you never know until it actually comes out. 
Yeah. Um, but Interesting. yeah, it's, I mean, I think from the American price, I think that's bang on what it needs to be. Mm-hmm. But I think from yeah. an Australian New Zealand price, it's a little bit expensive. It's it's a it's about fifty dollars too much. Yeah, like agreed. It, it's not to the point where you're like, wow, I'm not going to get it. But it's kind of like, oh, I really wish you weren't that expensive. Yeah, a hundred percent. Cameron, what do you think? I mean, you why, why why do you care? You've you've already got like five of them on pre order, and you've already got them all off. I've uh, uh, look, I got nine hundred and thirty dollars from trading in my old two consoles that I bought for like a hundred bucks each. And you, so you're I, getting I, way less value than you expected out of it. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow, I'll only be able to get one console at this rate. Damn. I, but um, saying that they're going to have a trade in bonus on the twenty second of September. Sorry, EB Games in Australia. It's going to have a trade in bonus of. Um, I'm a level four member, so uh, Xbox Series One X will cost me three hundred and twenty dollars. Is that when After... they tell you about Xenu and and uh, <laughs> and the Phaetons? They te- when you're level four, yeah. The yeah, level, level, yeah. You're. Yeah. It's a Scientology joke, buddy. Don't worry about it. It's okay. okay. It's, it's... Well, Someone's it's, laughing. What's uh? Laughing. What's what's Pierce Hawthorne's religion? Pierce. Oh um. Oh god, I can't remember now. Yeah. All I know is that it's streets ahead. It's, it's way, it's way um, far ahead. Uh, religion. I, I was, He's I like was a grand wisdom. Uh, reformed neo Buddhism. Yes. Going going back to the pricing though. Um, well, okay, Sorry, yes, Cameron, you're actually keeping Go, us on topic. Yeah, keeping you on topic. Um, going back to the pricing though, Xbox All Access. Yeah, that yeah, and so they um, confirmed that as well. The only thing I haven't really been able to see is if you can do it uh, in Australia, not being a Telstra member. It doesn't look like it, as far as I can tell, right? Yeah. I think Telstra, as far yeah. as we're aware, has the you needs a, need a frame down player, that right? market. Yeah, I wonder what it's going to be in New Zealand if, if they're going to have it at all, to Do be you honest. not have Telstra? No, we don't. Because I mean, they're we saying have... Telstra in New Zealand. Like, they're saying through Telstra huh, for Australia and New Zealand. They're just like, oh, it's all the same thing. Yeah, they've just lumped you in with us. Yeah, that's typical. Hey, wow. look, look at it this way. New Zealand. Hey, your sheep oh, look like okay, our sheep. Okay, fine. okay, so yeah, so, so, so Telstra Clear the, is the... Um, they're the parent company owned Vodafone. Okay, that makes sense. So it's it's ah, okay. Yeah. So it's wait, so why can't co- we get it through Vodafone? What the hell? I, I mean, I also don't have Vodafone, but why is our only option only option the monopoly? Yeah, so so Telstra did over, what what did exist over here, but they got bought out by Vodafone back in like 2012. So oh, I guess it'll, okay. That's, so I guess yeah. it'll be Vodafone as the will be the, the provider over here, um, which is a little weird because we don't usually have like like the sort of cable box stuff is not huge in New Zealand. So mm-hmm. that kind of bundling stuff. I mean, it has happened a little bit with Telecom or Spark uh, in the past with like Lightbox and some and Neon and all that kind of stuff. But I don't know. Are you guys thinking there's going to be a lot of uptake on that? Um, I, I feel like if it was outside of just a Telstra-only customer, a lot of people would be taking it up. Mm. I feel like as soon as you go, all right, you're going to have to chuck a phone plan onto it or uh, mm. that's where you lose me as consumer. Yeah. Like, if they had done... If it had been a thing 10 years ago, yeah, everyone's going to do it because everyone's on Telstra because that's the only option. That's the only right, viable right. option for, for phone and internet, really. Like, the others would occasionally, depending on where you live, possibly viable. Nowadays, though, it's it's barely the median option. I'd, like, look, I would go it if it was um, if I didn't have the gift card and it was through Optus. If the same deal was there, yeah, I, I mean, you do, you do save a little bit, um, on the lifetime of your contract, assuming you are paying for Game Pass Ultimate at full price. You, I think, on the Series X, you save like thirty bucks, forty bucks, and on the um, Series S, it's a lot more. But uh, I get uh, having getting all my Game Pass Ultimate through Microsoft Rewards and mm. not really needing to be on this contract. I I don't see it for me, but I do see it for a lot of families coming into Christmas that that's a really... It's a, it's a big potential for a huge adoption rate. 
and families yeah. that have been affected by COVID and that as well. Oh, not even that, just families that I are just, like, man, I don't need that low it, barrier. I guess everyone's technically been affected by COVID, but like they don't have 700 bucks to drop on a console. Yeah. But like they just don't have I mean, the, yeah. the 700 expendable income. So that's a, yeah, a, a, yeah. a fair option. That's that's honestly the 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 most praise I can give us. It is a completely fair and legitimate option. Mm. We'll also have to see what the PlayStation Five drops at. If if somehow they drop at like uh, in, talking US dollars, like if somehow they hit three hundred and fifty for the all digital, Ooh. that's gonna be tough. Yeah, I I don't expect them to take that much loss. I I genuinely am thinking it's at the very best for PlayStation, four hundred for the all digital and four fifty yeah. five hundred for the standard. Even if they hit that though, that's really I mean, that's, that's, that's going to be hard to pass up. Mm. That's yeah, it's very very competitive, especially with how strong they've been going over this last generation. Yeah. Um. But again, there's the nothing uh, for both consoles. Nothing's coming out for them, so no, there's exactly. no there's no reason that, and that's why the all access is it again. Unless PlayStation bring out something similar, which they are well within their rights to do. It's not like uh, Xbox have copyrighted this this system and this format. If they don't come out with something similar, I don't think either sell particularly well in the outright market. Yeah, probably not. I mean, the diehards will buy it no matter what, but that was always going to be the case. Mm. Yeah, and, uh, that. They're, they're, they're the ones least affected. That's the exactly. upper middle class. Middle class, mid-mid mm-hmm. to upper middle, have never had a question about what they were buying, regardless of how much it was going to cost, even before they knew how much it was going to cost. They are like, yep, exactly. I'm buying it. Yeah. I mean, most people, if you get a decent trade-in value... And actually, I was going to ask you this, but Cameron, so with the, the trade-in stuff, you said September 22nd, that is when pre-orders come live and that's where they're... So, so does that mean you have to trade it in on the 22nd or you trade it in when the console comes out? Because uh, that leaves it, you with a few months there without a console. I've got two consoles, that's fine. It, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but you're a freak. <laughs> Think of the normal person. Yeah. Alright, let me find it again. Um, I would imagine that it it's the intent okay, to trade pre-order. in. Because I don't think that trade-in deal is for okay. the pre-order. It's for the final yeah. purchase. Right, okay. All right. Pre-order online only and choose either click and collect or home delivery from 22nd of September. Secure your console with $200 pre-order. This is EB Games. Um, mm-hmm. One per person. Pre-order with click and collect to be eligible for these trade deals. Ah, the okay. Series right. X for only three ninety nine when you trade in your Xbox One X. Or seven forty nine. We get an extra discount trade. being level 4 members. You get the extra discount, which brings it down to three twenty. Um, Xbox Series X is two ninety nine um, when you trade an Xbox One S or four ninety nine without trade. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Now I did terrible math the first time I saw it. So from seven fifty down to three twenty nine, it's four hundred twenty bucks. Mm. Give, I I'm finding it hard to not trade in my Cyberpunk console. Yeah, yeah. Given actually, like, that, like with, with deals, I'm hoping that deals are that good for New Zealand as well. But I'm like looking at my series. Uh, sorry, my um, my One X, and I'm like, well, like I I didn't really have any intention of getting the the Series X this early. But uh, if I can get it for like three hundred bucks, well, you yeah, probably four hundred. Even so, four hundred bucks, and I trade in you know that and my, some some of my old games. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. you know, if I get it down to three fifty, like that's 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 massively affordable. The only reason I was going to keep my consoles was if I um, couldn't use the USB Connect, and now that I've got it, mm. like I've got all those options still, I can probably play all the Connect games on Series X. Yeah, I think the, the the one thing I wasn't sure about is the triple boxing around. You know, will it be Home able to console use? and stuff? So I guess we'll probably wait to see. And I'm sure that uh, intrepid minds across the internet will be figuring that out pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. I was going to say also um, for Australia, JB Hi-Fi's pre-order is at fifty bucks, not two hundred. Oh, okay. But you don't get the trade in deals that you do at e- like you do at EB. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Just if you wow. need to pre-order one without having such a high pre-order. Yeah. Um, and then just on top of the things that we missed last week, uh, because they got announced the minute we stopped recording, uh, they also announced that they're going to be. Uh, 
yeah, it was an EA. What do they call it now? EA Play, I think, is their new EA thing. EA Play yeah. is the one that encompasses um, EA Access and Origin Access. So that's for the Windows 10. Right. So they're yep. they're now going to be partnering up with Game Pass uh, in holiday 2020. They said so. Probably in the next month. Probably or two. launch console launch. I'd expect. Which would make sense. Yeah. Um, to, so essentially, if you have Game Pass Ultimate, you now get that and all those games included, which is a, a very big get for Microsoft mm. for sure. Oh, I feel it, like this. Sorry, you go, Kobe. No, I was just going to say it's it's huge because mm. that's the that is the sport titles uh, six to six to eight months later than uh, after release. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which your Maddens, your Fifas. Uh, that's huge. NHL, yeah. NBA. Yeah. Is, that's that's literally for most for a lot of people. That's their one purchase for the year. Exactly. But you and just people, wait a bit longer. And if people are happy playing last year's one for f- essentially free... Mm-hmm. Quote well, they already again. they already complain about how bad the new one is compared to the last one every year until... <laughs> so, mate, just, just stick with the old one for six months till it's in the vault, then play it then when it's better. And, and saying that, there's all play the that until ones. they shut it on the servers. Yeah, you can just catch yeah. up with, with microtransactions. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Just, <laughs> you were going to do the microtransactions anyway... You may as well just do them six months later when thing the odds are better or something. Mm. I was gonna say, did this feel like it swept like it was swept more under the rug as compared oh, to the other stuff? I guess it, so. I'm sure they'll talk more about it. Just yeah. I feel like the it you know felt the like, announce it felt like they were right they they had to rush their announcements. They're like, Okay, Series S has dropped. We need to hit a few big things right now so that the leak is not the focus. It's everything we're doing yeah mm. yeah so because it was series s that which we talked about and we got the prices for confirmed Ser- yeah. uh, series x rumors which were then confirmed by the end of that night mm-hmm. and then straight after that was this new partnership so they were yeah. basically being like okay boom 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 here's 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 the story we're gonna have more to talk about it uh was it 22nd i don't mm-hmm. know yeah i'm not sure they're supposed to be doing an event mm-hmm. uh, the i think they month. did like a they did it a recap kind of thing of the news of the past week mm. it seemed like a show but it was kind of the, it, it felt like that was what they were planning mm. to use yeah. to announce the things yeah they like we it said was last meant week, to be this obviously, week yeah like we said they're obviously very close to it because that's the only way this stuff would have leaked out with so many details being so complete yeah is that yeah, yeah. someone someone had it you know early for re- to get ready and was like oh i'm just gonna leak this yeah mm-hmm. yeah um it's really interesting um, before that, before we move on, I was are you moving go. on or I, go. I was gonna bring up Phil Spencer, Xbox One S in the background. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we all have an side. Xbox One S, Cameron. Sorry, Xbox Series One S. Uh, yeah, I just how are the parents gonna think, know, Cameron? Look, if look, you, you know, an experienced I'm, I'm, I'm gamer, totally, cannot know. I'm totally with you, Cameron. The naming stuff is is not great. It'll it'll get better as the, mm. the old consoles die off, and we just only have one thing. To I mean, we about. already we've already killed off the Xbox One X. They're, yeah, true. They actually, killed yeah, that off already. Anymore. They've got the sad. No, I don't know. It's not the sad. It's just the One S. Yeah, it's the One S. Yeah. Not even the Xbox One sad. The One S. <laughs> like, no, I just can't um, do it anymore. No. Honestly, parent, if 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 a parent is going to a store, this is what they're doing. Hey, can I get the new Xbox? The GameStop or EB Games probably is going to be like, oh, do you mean the One X? So they're going, okay, the the more expensive one or the least, less expensive one? Yeah, it's like, one? yeah, do you want the more powerful one that's more expensive or do you want the cheaper one that's, that works just fine and plays plays all the same games? Do, like, and if you, like, do you have a 4K TV? No, then just get the cheap one. Do yeah. you want the one that plays the discs? It's, it's yeah, going to be that's, the... Yeah, that's true, yeah. Actually, like, they're not going to... They're not going to go, okay. ho, ho, which of the four do you mean? Ho, ho, ho. Sorry, no, yeah, no, no. Of course. There's, like, there's this guy that... Okay, there's a guy at the local store. Um, Cody, oh, that apparently, that employee is Canadian as well. Just what was that? That was Canadian <laughs> voice. Yeah, all yeah of that was my Canadian basically voice. Basically, that's, that's I guess. just the one was, voice that you can do. That's not yeah, racist. He was also Alex as well. So you know, <laughs> like Alex the Canadian. Yeah, you know, um, this, is, this is just anyway, how I do. Um, yeah, so Cody works at my local EB, and we usually just have a conversation every time. <laughs> Last time. I- Last time I went in there, I was just asked. We got in the conversation of the um, the digital the digital console for this generation. Uh-huh. I'm just like, so like, so how many? Like, just out of interest, how many did the store get? How many did you manage to sell? We got ten. We got nine returns. Oh boy, yeah. Of the sad. 
That is sad. <laughs> Nuts. That's depressing. So one 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 person kept that um that console out of ten. I'm not. I'm, I can't say I'm surprised. I think they, they. To be fair, they really didn't push it at all. They just kind of let it go go out there as an option that yeah. no one really cared about. But it's so there just, for I mean, they were just I'm they just were trying wondering. to get rid of stock. Yeah, there was like that. They, yeah, exactly. They were going to do nothing with it, so yeah. Mm. The, I um, mean, it, it was stock that was already made, so it wasn't yeah. really costing them much more to just sort of put it together and put it out there. Yeah, unit sold. Yeah. Otherwise, you've got spare parts laying around. For, for what, though? Who's, that who's sending an Xbox One S for repair? Who is sending one in for repair? Oh, I've got a red ring, you know. Yeah, how, how often is that happening? Rarely, if Never. ever. Not many, if any. No, you, you didn't Ask no, the 360 no, owners. We're not, no, we're not doing, <laughs> we're not doing Scribe. I, I, I would love to do Scribe for Song of the Week, but no one would get it. Okay. No, um, no unless it was that one. <laughs> Exactly, it was that that one song that he did? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. That one song that, that one, one song that he did before he got charged with uh, misdemeanor and having weapons and stuff. Yeah. Uh, moving on from uh, EA Play, getting into Game Pass Ultimate, X Cloud is launching win- into Game Pass Ultimate. Well, officially launching, and it's joining the Game Pass Ultimate subscription tomorrow with more than 150 games. Men, many of them, but not all, overlap with Game Pass, so you just basically get to play them on the go. Uh, there are some that are unique to the Xard, uh I was going to say platform service, but I don't really know what they are, like what ones are unique. There's a whole bunch here that it's I'm looking at. It's so it's like, yeah, there's, there's a lot there to pass through. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I saw someone. Do we on get Twitter. to play it yet, though? Do we get to use it? Uh, yeah. So this is what I was going to say: is I saw someone on Twitter being like, "Hey, this looks great. When's it coming to Australia or New Zealand?" And then just, oh, sorry, nothing to announce. Oh, great. They really appreciate that. Yeah. Feel like we're feel like we're bigger than. I, I feel like there's more of us than India that would use your <laughs> use it, or Japan. You, you do this to Japan. our merchandise. Yeah. Like I get Japan. There's a lot of people. All three of them are really excited for it. I'm just saying, you know, I, I play a lot of video games. I'm, you know, high, yeah. n- number one in Australia and New Zealand, 25th in the world. Just, just uh, saying. You're not you know, number in Australia, you little. You know, just. Um, Hi, I'm Australian. I'll use the <laughs> service. <laughs> you should probably timestamp that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I've... see, all all the things that I, I that I want. Or Xbox just don't come to Australia. I I would love merch drops in Australia. Mm. I mean, I you know, you got these... that you got that body wash, right? That was the that was the key. I look at all the Xbox <laughs> ANZ um, influencers getting stuff. I'm like, I'd buy that. <laughs> for sale. I'd, I'd pay hard earned money for this this absolute tat. Yeah. I'm trying to do the last one. Look really good. Good. And like, but we, is interesting. We rarely get giveaway stuff, honestly. We don't. We rarely do. We've what? got this this thing that's happening in Australia for the ten Series X that I'm not even going to go into, but whatever. Before that was like the or in the blind forest bon- I was, uh, or I was, I was, was going to say bonsai. Like that. And that was it. Was that for mm-hmm. sale or was that a giveaway? I don't even remember. That was a giveaway. Uh, I think there was only giveaway. one or two of them. Yeah. The twenty usually has some pretty good stuff to give away. Yeah, Jigsy's Jigsy's on top of it. Jigsy's the guy that runs it. Um. Like they gave away a, they did give away a Sekiro One X, the the okay. one with the little sword on top or whatever. That was pretty dope. But it, it's starting to filter through. It's a trickle down system. Has started to trickle down to us all the way at the bottom. But it's there. That's what happens when you're down under, I guess. Yep. That's what happens when you're closer to uh, when Mel- when when Antarctica is closer to the headquarters. <laughs> Never, never gonna live that down. I, I can't get over that. My bre- like, I can't wrap my head around that. You that. just live in the middle of nowhere, mate. Literally, like. I mean, it, there's a good reason it's cheaper to go to anywhere in Asia than to, it is cheaper for me to fly to Japan, which takes longer. It takes longer to fly to Japan. It is cheaper for me to fly to Japan than to Melbourne. It's crazy. Um, sorry. The, tangent because i'm really annoyed at this <laughs> but yeah um x cloud hopefully 
will come to us sooner rather than later. I would have thought that when it was officially released, it'd yeah, get yeah, pushed. Would add support or something. I mean, yeah. I mean, they're they're, they're making baby steps it's, with iOS. Look, it, it's a, it's okay. I think Telstra will do something to help us out. Yeah. Yeah. No. Absolutely. <laughs> Why, yeah. Of course they will. Yeah. Absolutely. Like they've they've, they've always been so good to everyone. Buy our special Telstra tablet, and you can play <laughs> XCloud. <laughs> How I much is a Telstra tablet? $12,000. <laughs> and you actually have to go to the factory and assemble it yourself. Yeah. And, and it's, 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 it looks and feels Telstra. just like an iPhone mm-hmm. 5. It's got, a, it's got asbestos in it, but yeah. don't worry about it. Uh, don't worry. Actually... There's a sign that comes up every time. Every time you inhale, careful of asbestos. <laughs> warning. 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 Clippy pops up. Whoa, buddy. Looks like you're trying to breathe in asbestos. Do you need some help? <laughs> It's okay. Look, it's 2020. Everybody has P2 masks anyway now. That's true, actually. It's, it's probably the <laughs> safest time in history to have asbestos in your gaming console. We have to throw ours out every time we use. If we, if we stop using it, we have to throw it out. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. We go through so many. But um, And also, just on that sort of what you mentioned there with um, the inroads that they're making with iOS, just mm-hmm. briefly... So, for people who don't know, there was there's been the problem where essentially services like XCloud and such uh, aren't being allowed on the uh, on iOS because of the, the terms of service. Uh, gaming so, services specifically. Yes, gaming services like movie streaming and others aren't affected by this for some reason. Hmm. It's it's because Apple didn't do it first. So they have the Apple TV and Apple TV Plus that does compete with Netflix, but Netflix was on the platform first, so. They can't really then suddenly... Same with Spotify. They got their Apple Music in after Spotify was well on the platform. They did their Apple Arcade before XCloud and anything Stadia. this came in. So now they get to make the rules. So the new rule that they've, they've, they've acquiesced a little bit and said, yeah, oh, absolutely, you can have it on the service, but every, every game has to be individually downloaded. You can't... Mm-hmm. So they, you have to download them through the App Store. Yeah, so and you have can, to download the game. You did not cloud which, streaming. Exactly, yeah. And you can so, have the launcher, the, the multi-app uh, launcher that launches the app that you've downloaded, but you any purchase, it like, there has to be a purchase that goes through Apple for the subscription within that. And you can't... You can sell the subscription outside, but you can't promote that that happens. Yeah, so it's um basically point, basically useless. They would... Mm. Yeah, it's... it's yeah. They, rub, they would like, oh, you know, we, we're doing stuff and just, you know, rubber stamped it. Yeah. So I don't. Yeah, I mean, they'll. But like you said, they'll probably get that sorted before we uh, we actually get access to the system on any platform. Yeah, I'm looking to 2025. It'd be good. Yeah, look, it'd be good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Can't wait. Cannot wait. Okay. So moving on from the X Cloud news, the <laughs> Series S. So the lower powered. No, not you, Siri. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the Series S console, which is the lower-powered version, won't play uh, Xbox One X enhanced versions of the games that are backwards compatible. So a game on the current Xbox One or 360 um, via backwards compatibility that has Xbox One X enhancements, those enhancements won't transfer over to the Series S version, which makes sense... Uh, the Series S console, I should say. Which makes sense, because it doesn't do 4K anyway. And for and, technical and take, reasons... Yeah. Taking those 4K assets, downsizing them to 1440p, and then potentially upscaling them up to 4K, is just, like, it's just a waste. It's a waste of power, it's it's a waste of memory space... Uh, not hard drive space, I don't know, storage space, that's the word I was thinking of. So, and I, f- I feel like it's not really a big deal because you're you're going in not getting a 4k console hmm. yeah i mean like I, I didn't really think about this and my first reaction was well that doesn't seem great but actually now yeah thinking about it and reading through the article and, and understanding that obviously the series s has two gigs of less ram in it than the one hmm. x does as is yeah. It does actually make sense that it, like there's not really any good way or good reason 
for it to be running those higher res assets and that sort of stuff when you know it and when it's run. not even really displaying it exactly mm. and they're, they're big assets it's not mm. especially in the, the what the 512 gig uh yeah the 512, 512 gig yeah, drive yeah. that's not for, a lot for of space three games four games depending one, on which ones one you call have call of duty call of duty i mean if you get rise of the tomb raider that's yeah, you're done. Call of Duty, Quantum Break. Because <laughs> um, you have to download the movies. Of Forza, course, yeah. Forza Horizon 4. Halo Master Chief Collection. Like, any oh. of those games, oh. five of them. Gears of War 5. Uh, 4, sorry. Mate, mate, but if you download Halo Master Chief Collection, you're downloading multiple games. You're downloading six games in one. One purchase. Single purchase, single tile. Yeah, one game. They, yeah. That's six One games. list. One list. That you can one separate list, uh, using the groups function on trueachievements.com this episode brought to you by Great Shadow Legends <laughs> yeah Raid Shadow Legends uh, use promo code Raid Ray for Com. IGS <laughs> oh I'm not going to tell you how to spell that <laughs> you get one to chance to get literally no money off like nothing it's literally just so we can steal all of your personal information people will the, if you use that code in Raid Shadow Legends the game will go this is an incorrect code. We're giving you nothing. Um, it's lying. It gives you stuff once you hit level 50, but you have to hit level 50, so just keep playing till you hit level 50. Use the code, you'll get something. It's only like 100 hours, you'll be fine. Code is valid for the next uh, th- three days, so get on it. So well, uh, well after this comes out. Yeah. Three days from yesterday. Sorry, I should specify. Yeah. So then recording, release, you've got about 12 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, are we? Are we? I can understand people being upset that it's not playing using the Xbox One X enhancements without fully understanding the system itself and mm-hmm. what it's going to be outputting. Do we think the rage is justified? Or I say rage. Like, do we think um, what people are saying is justified? I mean, like, it doesn't look good, right? It's not like when you look at a headline, like that's not that's not great messaging, and I think that. Um, Microsoft probably have to get out ahead of it a little bit mm-hmm. to just say, "Hey, look, like explain it in a way like because we've kind of gone over it, but it's probably even they probably need to dumb it down even a little more than that and just sort of explain why things are as they are." If people even care, I guess it's the other bit, right? Yeah. At, at the end of the day, pe- most people are going to be buying the Series S. You know, potentially don't even know about the fact that you know the backwards compatible stuff has 4K enhancement available. Yeah. The only downside is if it's dragging the rest of the generation down. Yeah. Well, I mean, again, that that remains to be seen from Microsoft in general across their yeah. entire strategy, right? Because with with that's... them having so much stuff that's apparent first party stuff that's going to be on both the old and new generation. Mm. Yeah, that that's the one thing that gives me pause. I think the clean break probably would have been better, but hindsight is twenty twenty. We'll find out. <laughs> yeah, it's a. Uh... Because you know they're not going to go and build assets for the Series X and then go backwards and, and drill them down. That's the problem. So it's going to be things like where it can upscale with it to 4K for those assets, but they will have better render distancing and, and mm. you know, crap filling the space. Faster load less, times, less popping, you know. Less just, dead you know. space. Exactly. All that sort of stuff. Um, look, it, 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 we'll have to see how it goes. It's not going to affect indies much. It's more going to be the AAA stuff. So we personally aren't going to be super duper affected initially. Mm, but three... we'll, we'll keep. We'll notice it, and we'll probably keep. We'll keep an eye on yeah. it because we're gonna. It'll get heard about. That's for sure. Oh yeah, they will. They will announce it. So this is all off the back of a Digital Foundry um, report that they did, talking about the Series S. Um, They'd apparently seen the console about six months ago and they went into some of the tech stuff about it. That, so, so the headlines around, the the uh, title around that was less clickbaity than people have taken and run with um, because obviously as a journalist, you get clicks, you get a better result. That's, that's how it works. Sensationalism sells. Yep. Um... I don't think it's going to matter as much as people 
think it will. Yeah, I, th- I think that's kind of true of this this whole generation for both Microsoft and Sony. Is that mm. like a lot of the stuff that we are talking about as, you know, the very small, small subset of a su- subset that we are. Ha- like, say 80% of the stuff that we're focusing on and are interested in and are really, you know, looking at, I don't think is going to cause any difference in the sales numbers for these consoles. No. No, and, and that's... The, the graphic fidelity is honestly not even... A factor in my purchasing decision like yeah, i don't same, yeah. i don't care that i will be able to play it in 4k the frame rate's nice once i get a tv that can display it properly oh i'm looking at you lg oled g10 for 11.399 oh yeah i'm gonna talk to some friends see if they can get that down for me yeah yeah hmm um but then it, it's it's the low times and it's the multi-game suspension or resume, however they're calling it. Mm. That's the kicker for me. And if PlayStation can do that as well, because I think PlayStation were talking about being able to not have to go into the game, for example, to launch into multiplayer. You can have just like a tile on the desktop that's Call of Duty multiplayer and it sends you straight into searching for Deathmatch or Team Deathmatch or whatever. Right, like, okay. Hmm. Which then sort of insi- uh, insinuates implies. that multi game implies that multi game resume will sort of be a thing there as well. Or for something that similar, yeah. yeah, yeah, something along those lines. I think that's that's going to be something that is going to be hard to move away from. Look, I I, I don't think I think the frame rate's going to be. The, one of the bigger changes mm-hmm. I also think yeah those two features as I said the load time is going to be crazy good multi-game resume uh, I can't think of any major any other major features that like as it not not the services not all access in terms of just the console features I can't think of anything else that's going to be either You're drastically different to, to, to notice or influential in a decision okay uh, so what we've been playing well I didn't play too much because I went down to Catherine for the weekend for my dad's 60th got a little tan the outside is great honestly I don't understand why you guys don't go out more often I really don't like just just go out I'm a panel like, boy I, there's no reason not to go out it's honestly it's it's one of the best things I've done in the last month is not, go out and get some sun not to not to rub it in anybody's faces but I soon will be able to but I will choose not to because I, that's my life what just go out. I don't know what's wrong with you guys. I mean, like, I'm going to go outside because um, I have to get on a plane next week. But, you know, that, that that's out, right? Yeah. 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 Where, are you, where, where are you flying to? One of the other islands? Uh, to the bottom of this island, actually. But, yep, yeah, I'm gonna, I can okay. see the other island from there. So it's basically where, the same thing. Where are you going? Yeah. Can we find it on the map? Wellington is where I'm going. <laughs> never, never heard Say of it. Say it with a funny accent. Fosh and Chops. <laughs> I know that's not what I actually sound like it's a fake New Zealand no, accent no. 110% you don't um, so uh, I got before I left I played some PUBG with Aftos we got yeah. some grenade kills I got my 50 grenade kills done he was very annoyed because we get in the game and we were getting in games with each other and like We'd be like, okay, I'm going to drop here. And we'd, like, as the person, so I'd say to Aphilus, uh, I'm going to drop at this place. He's like, I just put my marker down there. I'm going to pick a different spot now so that we didn't sort of land on top of each other and accidentally kill and we could work work together a bit. Um, and he'd just be going, man, I can't find a gun. Okay, I found a gun. You know, I've got all this stuff. I've got my backpack. I'm like, I can't find anything. Oh, look, a frag grenade. So I just, like, all I'd have <laughs> is a frag grenade. And he's like, seriously? I'm like, yep, yeah, no, that's all I've got. So I'm just going to, well, we'll just roll with it. I'll see if I can find a gun at some point. It's like, really, dude? I'm like, yeah, all I've got is this grenade. And hopefully I'll punch someone out and then throw a grenade at him. But yeah, I got my 50 kills done. I did help him through a solo win against a squad of three Ooh. by spectating the three players and telling him <laughs> where they were and what they were looking at. I don't know why I couldn't rotate to him, mm. but I was just... I was just stuck spectating those three 
And, like, they won't be able to see you because they'll be stuck spectating their own squad as well. Right, right. I guess maybe it threw me into their squad. Oh, okay. That's probably why. Yeah, probably it, yeah. I don't... Because it'll be a squad yeah. of four, right? But the whole time I was like, yep, okay, you've downed him. He's crawling away. He's got a teammate coming up. He's got... His teammate's rezzing. His teammate's rezzing. You can hit him now. Hit him now. Hit him hard. And, yep. Yeah. And then, yeah, got him the win. It was pretty good. Pretty impressive. Um, I then went away. Came back Sunday. Uh, launched into Sunset Overdrive because we were planning to do the Chaos Squad. Uh, Cameron, who had downloaded it fully. Matt, uh, myself, and Aftos. Aftos was away at the time, I think. So we then just spent like 20 minutes abusing Cameron because he couldn't download a game. I Okay, in my defense, I tried everything. I tried both consoles. I tried... Did console. you try installing it from a physical disc? I don't have physical disc for it. That, did you try installing it from a physical disc? I tried every option that was available to me, good sir. I tried Deluxe Edition. I tried Standard Edition. I tried Hot Spotting it. I honestly thought Hot Spotting would work after a You've got it now, though, yep. Yeah? No. I've tried oh, I everything. I thought you did. I, I can't get it. Like, it gets to um, it gets to half a gig. Sorry, it gets to 630 megabytes specifically. And then it just completely fails. I have managed That's to weird. install Arc. I have managed to install uh, Madden NFL 25 because I was doing that Fight Club. Um, there was another game that I installed. Updated Minecraft Dungeons. It's clearly just the Sunset Overdrive file. Yeah. And Kirby's looking it up to find out why I'm failing him. Uh, failing after us. Um, did you try downloading the title when your console is in offline mode? What do you What do you mean? Offline mode can be used to download titles. Yeah, if you have a phys- physical disc. Nope. Right. For both digital and physical games. Would it have to be his home Xbox stuff for that to work? Um, his partner needs to... Well, it was Games with Gold, so his oh, partner yeah, should okay. have redeemed it. Nah, I don't think he would have. Because oh, of course not. Yeah. Blame Adrian. It's all Adrian's fault. Alright, what else? Yeah, okay, so so that didn't happen then. So we, yeah, we but I got to... an achievement in it. Oh, okay. Because I was like, I was like, I have no idea where I am in this DLC. I guess I'm looking for a diary. Oh, I found the diary. Because I remembered not finding the diary for ages. Oh, now that I know exactly what I'm looking for... I'll be able to find the next... And I found all the next ones easy and finished the quest and got an achievement and then left because uh, I moved on to my next game, which was Totally Reliable Delivery Service because Waka Pale was like, hey, did you want to play Totally Reliable Delivery Service now? I was like, Totally Reliable Delivery Service? Sure, I'd love to play Totally Reliable Delivery Service. Right now? I said, yes, right now. I'm launching Totally Reliable Delivery Service. Oh, TRDS? So, Turds. Oh, I thought it was Tards. As, no, it, there's no U in there. Tords. Tords. Sorry, Tords, yes. Yeah, the Tords. Are... Yes, I launched... So we played Tords. Um, <laughs> we got me, like, to 26 out of 30 golds. And uh, unfortunately, he was on, obviously, U- EU servers because he's from Sweden. And I was in Australia because that's where I live. So the lag, I couldn't really help out much because the lag bad. was pretty unbearable. But he just mostly used his UFO and and then did it all. So it's pretty cruisy. Um, obviously didn't get everything done, otherwise I'd be done with it. But got like 55, including some of the harder deliveries. So I just need four more golds, which I'm sure there are four more Easy. don't break this thing ones I can do. Um and then I'll get the the rocket booster vehicle for that achievement. And then it's just finishing the rest of the deliveries, which you can just bronze everything. So I just... I really need to go back to it, but I just hate the game so much. Aww. Because it's, it's just... It's not quite human fall flat. Yeah, okay, yeah, for sure. There is... There's, it definitely doesn't have quite it. It doesn't have... A, a, what's the word? It's not as tight. Yeah, it doesn't have the finesse... The, the, which is weird to say about Human Fall Flight. Yeah, but exactly. Which is a game about falling over a lot. And not, the and physics engine control. doesn't feel as good. Yeah. You don't have as consistent. much control. Yeah. So it's just... If it was if it was Human Fall Flight, but in this in this style of, of everything, perfectly fine. It'd be a great game. But it's just not. And it's... It, it, 
it it nearly it nearly hits that point of being playable, but it doesn't quite get there. Um, and then for the true achievements competition community challenge or or competition that has a community challenge tied to it, Leapfrog, uh, I got an achievement in Piku Niku, and I will need to get two more after we finish recording before I sleep, because I need to hit day ten and then accidentally hit however many days because. I just I'm getting achievements. The winner of the competition gets a month of TA Pro for every day they survive, though. So Endless Legend has 72 achievements or so. You can survive 12 days on that alone. Um, surviving Mars, you do that. Plus the DLCs, like you you can't really. Yep. You have to do all of them because it's you can't really pick which ones in the mod. It's it's all or nothing. It, so if you've got a Game Pass subscription and you haven't done too much, you can probably get through 30 odd days relatively easily. Mm. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see how far people go. I mean, we had 300 people eliminated from day one. So it did not earn one achievement in the 24 hour span. Yeah, which is totally I mean, unexpected. Life happens, but I was just not expecting... Uh, not expecting that to happen. Oh no, Mad Max is having a server closure. Sorry, I've just. Uh, October 31st, there is one online achievement. And that's to do all the tasks. Okay. <laughs> there is apparently an online component. Yeah, I, I don't, don't know, what... know if that's necessary. Complete all non repeating challenges. I don't know which one's online. Yeah, okay. That's interesting. I'll have to, I'll look into it later, but yeah. Uh okay. Got another title to work on. What? Uh, you, there was English? Mad, Mad Max is a relatively simple completion. It's not like it's a little yeah. bit longer than it should be, but the game itself is perfectly reasonable. Yeah. yeah. Um so all those all the all those many, many titles got me a uh, one thousand three hundred and thirty game score for the week. So a little bit of a drop off, but it's whatever. It is what it is. It's just so long as Matt didn't beat me, because then he's he's opened the gap a bit further. Oh, Matt. Well, so I've been playing video games this week. To the surprise of literally no one, because I'm technically not employed yet. Um, so I finished up Resident Evil 3, uh, the remake. Did my like last couple of playthroughs. That game... It's got a low ratio and it's not terribly difficult, but there are some little, like, there's like little slightly challenging bits that are just a little more annoying than I was expecting. Uh, especially on the last playthrough where you only have five, where you can only use five saves and there are no auto saves. So if you die, you go back to the previous save. But you also need to finish the game another two hours. So obviously, it's not a very long game. The only real part that annoyed me the most was the final fight against Nemesis at the end of the game. Uh, they change up quite a bit where. Uh, anytime you get hit with one of his uh, attacks, he essentially stun locks you to death. So, oh, good. Yeah, so, so like he has a specific sp- specific attack where he attacks you from above and he just slams mm-hmm. his fist down and you have to dodge in time to dodge them. So normally, in, on the lower difficulty, you do like one or two or three, and if you can dodge all three of them, you're fine, and you can hit him with a rocket launcher or whatever you want to do. On yep. Inferno... He'll do one, two, three, four, and then he'll instead of doing five, six, seven, eight, he will pause and then do five, six, seven, eight. So if you just keep hitting the dodge button on the same timing, you will dodge right into the attack and die. Mm-hmm. And also, he yes. doesn't always pause on the same attack, so you need to be watching it constantly. Wow. Yeah, it's um like it, yeah like I was, it took me like I finished the game in like an hour and a half, and on mm-hmm. like an official game time for that run uh but i would say i spent a good 20 to 30 minutes on that one boss fight alone which if you were like if you nailed it first try you would get it done in about two minutes yeah okay so it was um yeah it was pretty tough but then i complained to valak about it and then by the time he got back to me i finished it so uh yeah 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 it, yeah so it, fun game um i enjoyed it like it's it's short it doesn't overset it's welcome the achievements are relatively easy and you know they give you the it's pretty easy to unlock like the infinite rocket launcher and like weapon and items that make you heal faster and do more damage and more defense and just kind of blast your way through the game so yeah i had a really good time with it i would highly recommend it i've also been playing uh, the division 
Uh, as I mentioned, I'm still working on the underground achievements. I got all the collectibles for it, which are randomly generated, so I'm quite thankful that's done. I am level 32 or 33, level 33 out of 40. So I still have quite a bit of grinding to do, but that'll just come with time. Uh, and I've also been working on the last stand mode. I got up at 6 a.m. this morning to uh, to boost that, and it went relatively well. Uh, we got I got five wins out of it, which, you know, if you do the math, three hours, five wins, it'll take 30 hours to get the achievement. Uh, so I'm sitting at 24 out of 50 so far. So it's going to be, be a few more sessions with... Uh, there were some really good sessions with some Australians that were going, but uh, they're all finished now, so I'm trying to match up with some Europeans at least. But we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm, I've been working on this slowly for years, so I'm not expecting it to unlock anytime soon. Uh, mm -hmm. Also looking at my... Uh, also started playing uh, Tell Me Why, which is on Game Pass. Mm. Uh, mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I, I finished the first episode, and I'm about halfway through episode two. It's interesting i it's not bad no it's not that's the thing it's not bad at all actually like i'm it's definitely not as quote-unquote exciting as as something like uh the first game it, it's a lot more like life is strange one than two yeah in that yeah. there's like there is stuff happening and there's like an underlying mystery and there's things that you're doing in the game that are kind of interesting but also relatively mundane Whereas the second game was like, okay, exciting thing, exciting thing, you're on the run, you're doing this, you know, you're now in this situation. There's a church, there's a fire. Whereas this is more like, okay, obviously some weird stuff has happened. Let's slowly start peeling away at it like a sort of... It, it, it's more like a drama than a thriller. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Um, I, was, I was a bit worried that it was going to come off a little heavy-handed with the subject matter. Yeah. But um, I, th yeah, but I think, yeah, it, sorry, go go. go. I, th I think it tackled it pretty well. Um, yeah, like and and like if you were just like reading like the the synopsis around how this started, like you might be like you might roll your eyes and be like, okay, right, I get like you know ripped from the headlines, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, kind of you know mm -hmm. trying to jump on the bandwagon. But actually, part of the story is that it turns out to be a deeper, meaningful thing that actually. It, it's not as base as you were expecting, or or as yeah. sort of tropey. It's actually got it's actually got a little bit of mystery to it. Um, so I'm, I haven't. I know you you mentioned that you basically figured out you pretty much figured out what the plot was, how the plot was going to go towards the end of the the second episode. Yeah, at least in term. Well, I mean, I think I have it. Kind of sure. It all sort of has lined up a lot more. Right. Okay. Because I'm so I'm I'm I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm I'm kind of putting some ideas together, but I am definitely eager to see how it goes. The game definitely feels shorter, though. Like, those episodes feel quite a bit shorter um, than the Life is Strange ones, especially. Uh, I don't know if that's just perception or because there's only three of them. I'm just kind of thinking, like, how long the game's going to be in total. But, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I'm definitely enjoying it, and I'm, I'm looking forward to, to sort of getting through the rest of it this week. Uh, mm -hmm. On the 360 cleanup side, uh, I have been playing Worms. <laughs> oh boy, I like I like the game Worms. Like I remember as a kid, I used to play it all the time. Uh, this 360 one has 20 challenge missions that are just really not fun. The mm -hmm. whole point is they they pit you against multiple enemies who have more health than you, and you have to outwit them or outplay them. I was doing I'd been stuck on mission 12 for you know like years and years. I just hadn't gone back to it. But I decided now's the time. Got back to it. Was having a really good run. Uh, the final guy I was trying to kill, um, he, he'd gotten a bunch of health kits and he was way stronger than I was. But he teleported himself right to the perfect position where I could just punch him right off the side of the map. Mm -hmm. I have my last guy. I head down there. I, manage, I do the drop as slowly as I can to make sure I don't damage myself. Get right behind mm -hmm. him, and then I hit the jump button instead of the punch button because it's the yep because they because it's, it's square to jump and A to attack, which makes no sense. So I ju I just I just yeet myself <laughs> off the goddamn map yeah. and drown. Because if you're not holding a direction, you backflip, right? Well, yeah, exactly. Well, if you double tap, it backflip. But I was I was like right in front of oh. him. I was like right behind him, and I was ah, like, I'm gonna yeah, hit him so with a punch. Jumped at an angle. And I just jumped at an angle and just bounced myself right off the side of the cliff and died. And so I'm gonna have to redo that. So. Uh, yeah, I was. I was uh, to say I was tilted uh, would be an understatement. 
So I will need to go back and do that. I, all I've got left to do is those 20 challenges and then just I have to do a certain amount of damage. But it's one of those games that's been sitting there since like 20... Well, like 28. 20 forever. Yeah, like a long time. So I, it'll be good to get it done. Um, TA-wise, it's basically no ratio, so it just needs to be cleaned off the, the tag. Uh, mm -hmm. I also played some more Halo Spartan Assault for the 360. Um, finished up uh, the last sort of campaign missions, quote-unquote. Uh, I've got I still want to do the Vidmaster 2.0 achievement which is actually quite challenging and then I got to try and get gold on all the missions um, yeah it's it's a fine twin stick shooter but it overstays its welcome the missions are short but there's a lot of you know getting gold on all the missions is a pain and they this was during the monetization period where they were like oh if you want an overshield or a rocket launcher for this mission you can give us some of your e EXP or you can buy these credits and I'm like, okay, you know, I guess I'm just going to have to grind for the XP. So I'm going to do a bit of that. I'm sure I probably don't need them for most of the missions, but I am a scrub. So I will pro I will lean on as many crutches as I'm offered. Mm -hmm. um, I know that the progress carries over to the Xbox One version as well. But I've been recommended that you play the 360 version on the 360 itself to avoid any sort of uh, issues with the sync. Um, and then the last thing I've been working on is Dead Island, Dead Island Riptide. Uh, I've been playing that with Mike. Nearly finished. We're basically down to our last like eight side quests, and then we just got to finish the story. Uh, I am slightly worried about that because it, when I look at the achievement list or the the in-game tracker, I am one mission less on the do all the co-op or the story missions on co-op than Mike is, and I'm pretty sure there's only two left, and I require three, so I might need to do another partial playthrough. We shall see how that goes. I'm not looking forward to that, but. We've been just steamrolling through the game. Uh, I, we had, I know we had a lot of fun playing through it with uh, with us three and Brad. Um, but I think the game actually works a lot better at, at with with a single co-op partner because the, the enemies don't scale as high and there's more resources to go around. And you also, you know, don't get blown up with shock knives every five minutes. Brad? Yeah, I was, was going to say, Brad, why would you do that? Jeez. Uh, yeah. Uh, but no, I'm, I'm having a good time so, with it. It's you okay. know. We understand. You're playing a mic. You're not playing a Brad. It's a lot better. It's a lot better. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm having a great time. Uh, actually, actually, playing through it like this, I actually kind of enjoy it more than I did the first game. It's definitely not as good of a game. Like, it's more buggy. And, like, story-wise, it's terrible. And the structure is kind of a mess. And, like, the whole swamp thing. The swamp was, like, the worst part of the, uh, the first game. So why they decided to make that a whole area, I have no idea. But... Yeah, you know, getting through it. It'll be it'll be good to get that done off the tag. And then I'm going to have to find one of the other 40 games to finish. Uh, but anyway, easy. then. Easy. Yeah, easy. But that puts me at uh, 2,075 for this week. Nice. All right. Now, Cameron, before you get started, um, I would suggest uninstalling the Sunset Overdrive DLC that is probably uninstalled and you never uninstalled it. Uh, I did that. You've uninstalled the DLC? I'm positive it's not on there, but... Uh, and then I reinstalled it last time. Okay, don't reinstall it. Install the base game, then install it. Okay. I'm going... Look, I'm going to do this live on the podcast because everybody's yep. so excited. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a really good idea. Why don't you use your bandwidth to uh, to download a game that we're not going to play for a few more days rather than, you know, on the Skype call that we're trying to maintain so we have good audio quality so I know what the hell you're on about. I'll do it after. Yeah, maybe, maybe <laughs> just just a, just a light suggestion there. Okay, and I, it won't work once again. No, of course it I... won't work. So that's why I'm also telling <sighs> you not to bother with it. Anyway, what have you been playing? Uh, do we play Strange Brigade this week? We just did not. Only... Okay, that was the only thing I wasn't sure about. Cool. So we did not play Strange Brigade this week, and it was all due to Brad. Disappointing. You yeah, definitely Brad's be, fault. Yeah, need to be reminding us. Cool. Uh, I started Alan Wake. Oh, right, okay, yeah. Just like, is this um, the first time you've ever played it? Yeah, first time I've ever played it, dipping my toes in the sand. Um, I get very Stephen King kind of feels. Um, yeah. I When I was driving home from work today, I just I kept thinking to myself, like, it feels very Doctor Sleep to me. Yeah. yeah. And I'm not I, saying I, that's a bad thing. I'm really enjoying that aspect to it. Yeah. Um, Saying that I started on the worst possible night because I could only throw like an hour or two into it. Right. Uh, I got up to where the 
your wife has been taken or kidnapped. Spoilers. I mean, it's the start of the game. Movie. It's like an out. <laughs> yeah, uh, like an hour into the game. Like, look, dip my toes in the sand. It looks pretty cool. All right. Yeah. I'm. Um, I, th- I think th- I really like that game. Is fantastic in terms of storytelling, and I really like the pacing and like the sort of Stephen King esque elements of it, and the, kind of what it says about the world. But the, the pacing gameplay, is amazing. Yeah. But the game, it's its own worst enemy in terms of gameplay, I think. Yeah. yeah combat Look, from, is uh, not great. From what I've played so far, the combat's, you know, it's it's okay. It's serviceable. Yeah, it, it yeah. does it does fine. But when you're on the higher um, difficulties, it really, it really shows its problems. Just, just that atmosphere. Like, if we got, like, an Alan Wake remake with better gameplay, I'd be, like, 100% sold. I mean, I'm hoping we get a sequel. Yeah, that too. Um, moving on from that. Played Friday the Thirteenth for I think nine hours with our good friend uh, the Wet Chef. Oh yep. Uh, got me my murder Ph. Uh, sorry, my PhD in murder, which after about seven hours grind, eight hours grind, I had ninety eight percent, to which I did the final one and the achievement didn't pop. So <laughs> after after much talking with uh, I guess all the gay H, uh, AHA people we went okay when i hit the head uh when i hit chef's head against the barn fence it only hit once where it's meant to be a repeated thing so we went back straight away did that bam straight off the bat it was the one that i needed you had to murder him with a specific part of the fence I, I don't I don't know like it was just but <laughs> no just, it's, just, it's super pedantic yeah I know just just the fact though there are fifty eight I think fifty eight different ways to kill in that game and I was going through the checklist one by one by one and then it was like all right let's let's try it let's guess at what some of these ones are going to be and then I got it straight off the bat I was super impressed with that some might say that's a good part of the game is that there's such a big variety of ways to kill. <laughs> mm. I mean, yeah. Those some would have never gotten an achievement for in their lives on purpose. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Um, so, yeah, I think I got up to like 5% for the matches played. Oh, man, you're uh, in for a treat. Uh, I'm. Look, if I, get the, if I get most of this game done, I'm happy. Look, I, let me put it this way I, I have been known to have a total rubber arm when it comes to uh, peer pressure, as I've demonstrated many times on the show. Even the combined forces of Mike, Valak, and everyone on that Discord, they could not convince me to play that game. You know, you know what though? You don't have a girlfriend that's favorite movie series is Friday the Thirteenth, that loves and adores the game. Who said that she would help me boost it? Mate, could you just stop that after the first four words? <laughs> <laughs> to which still hasn't helped me with it. Oh, she's oh, okay. Well, that's it. What's your favorite movie series, sweetheart? No series. Technically, Legally Blonde is a series. Sure. Okay, that's fine. I would pl- I would play a Legally Blonde game. That's fine. It would be like Phoenix Wright, except even more fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what the world needs. That's a hundred percent. That's what this world needs. Okay. Yeah. So, so she, but I, she's she's definitely okay. going to help you boost it, right? She's going to she's going to do all the thousand Abs- matches. Absolutely not. I, actually, I should say our um our anniversary is on Monday should just totally plan around that <laughs> i'm sure she i'm sure uh, she'll be thrilled i i'm just checking something quickly hmm. for all the licensed games there is i am surprised not to find a legally blonde, blonde game <laughs> other oh, well. than a stupid flash game but yeah anyway uh i'll get to friday the 13th one day hopefully before november because i'm pretty sure that is our next friday the 13th and bear my right. October thirty cool. first, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Anyway. <laughs> um moving along from that. Uh Forza Motorsport Six. I finally basically just uh ignored the shifter, unplugged it from my uh, racing rig because the racing rig that I bought is like three centimeters off where the um uh the screws need to go in, which is absolutely great. So Perfect. I went, alright. Absolutely doing this auto. Uh, did some Forza 6. Popped some really easy achievements. Um, 
aren't Appreciate you glad that you spent all that money on that racing rig to pop some really easy achievements oh it's great no it, I, I must say it was actually really fun doing it i'm just really bummed out about the not being able to use shifter yeah even though i am an automatic um license holder and i drive an auto and i have no reason to do manual whatsoever but oh well. um you maybe. get your you get your manual license automatically after a like a year like completely open from an automatic don't you like you it, I think it's if you get your full license and automatic it also counts for manual but not for yeah. restricted all learners yeah yeah no I think I'm not 100% sure in all honesty I'm pretty sure here it's either immediate or like okay. a year after your your full license tell, tell, tell you a quick story about peer pressure yeah um, back peer when, pressure peer pressure back when I was 13 um, I knew I, I knew quotation marks how to drive manual because I was a farm boy. Grew up on a farm. Just we're gonna end with gaping. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, it's not that type of farm. Anyway, continue. At least I hope it's not. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> Jesus, that just came so left field. Um. Any yeah. Anyway, uh, Dad told me one day just to grab the ute out of the um out of the shed which was conveniently manual U that had reverse yep. behind it. Dad's Harley was there. Ah. And I told him, no, I don't know how to drive the manual. And he quickly learnt that I did not know how to drive manual because nope. I, re- I reversed into that Harley. Oh. And I was dealing with I, mean, I feel like you would have done that in an automatic vehicle as well. <laughs> no, automatic so I can drive. Manuals? Yeah. No. I mean, that you... I do not have confidence uh, when I'm driving. Excluding the changing of gears bit, you put it in reverse, you drive backwards. What what bit confused you about the I'm manual? I was 13. I had no idea what I was doing. You could drive I an automatic? I still have no idea what I'm doing. You could drive an automatic at that age? Uh, well enough? Uh, I'm pretty sure. But like, well enough. Not, like, legally, but you... I mean, you <laughs> understand not that like when you... Not like, not like, you know, not within legally, the bounds of the law. law. Not, like, not on the roads. <laughs> But like I understand that when you have big plots of land, you can you're allowed to drive a vehicle within your private property to an yeah. extent. So you understood how to go backwards in an automatic. Uh, I feel like this I, podcast is I going backwards. Know, yeah, I don't know this. Thing. What else all you been saying, playing? All I'm saying is I backed into a Harley, and I wasn't. My dad wasn't super impressed about it, and I worked for three months straight paying that off. <laughs> I mean, it's his fault. Oh, so the story did end with. Shut up, Kobe. Um, Madden, uh, Madden NFL 15 and 25 have server closures in November. So what do you think me and Fire Club have been doing? That. Realising that you've both played the game and, and are rushing to get it done? You know what? He's completed um, uh, NFL 15. And I feel super bad because I did not realise that. He's just like, oh yeah, sure, I can help you. I'm like, yeah, I'll help you too. And then I look at his TA. Yeah, 1K done. Like, oh, I feel like I'm the ass. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. But he's been really nice, helping me with a lot of that. Um, we got uh, pretty much half the achievements in one night when it's meant to be a 40 to 50 hour completion. Uh, the other thing was simming for 10 years, which took probably about 40 minutes, um, which got me a nice 350 game score chunk as well. Only stuff I need to do is one miscellaneous achievement. Um, for coming back a certain amount of points at um, at half time, uh, some few school trainers stuff, and then just him basically sending me all his um, Madden Ultimate Team stuff, and me just unlocking the achievements off of that, which is absolutely great. Saying that, I then installed MFL twenty five, which is also having the same server closure, only to realise you can only sim per week, as oh. compared to the ten years. So that was fun. Um, so it took a bit, a little bit longer. Pretty much the exact same kind of achievement list. Um, only bummer about this game is it's not going to be completable because there is one discontinued achievement that I did not get either one, mm. which is just the solo. Um, it's one of the solo tasks in Ultimate Team that has been discontinued. I think just winning like a, a rookie match or something along those lines. 
yeah, can't get it, unfortunately. Uh, Gemini, Heroes Reborn. Went back and did this because I had one achievement that's been on there since launch. And that was just to go back and get memories. Uh, I think I was six off. I don't know why I didn't complete it, but it is an absolutely amazing good game. Okay. Like, I was replaying through it. Um, just having time abilities. Um, going... You're basically going in between two points in time, five years apart, after this lab has been uh, basically there and then is destroyed, and just using environmental changes throughout time, um, just picking up um, enemies, telekinesis, throwing them into environment ha environmental hazards. Game definitely does not look polished, but it is very fun. Okay. I really want more uh, games in this kind of... I guess genre or oh. similar gameplay because I do enjoy them. Um, but yeah, finished that up in about 40, 50 minutes. Then I moved on to, is it Albedo? Albedo, Aliens yep. From, yep. Ooh. Aliens, Attack, that's... Uh, I guess. What, I don't know. What, what? What is this game? I don't. I, someone's someone's failed art project, it feels like. Yeah. It's awful. Because I, like, I got through the... Um, like just getting the first lot of achievements at the start, I'm like, oh, okay, this is very Fallout free kind of feeling, at least visually to me. Kind of, yeah, it's like aesthetic, yeah. yeah. Yep, just like a lot of green, a lot of uh, these kind of menus. Um, but yeah, I mean, like easy completion. I guess it doesn't overstay its welcome. Wouldn't recommend, but no, is what it is. Uh, then from that moved on to Sleeping Dogs which I have completely forgotten how to play it's a great other game than, other than just do it is GTA fantastic and just hitting all the pedestrians because I can <laughs> worst cop ever <laughs> I I am yeah fuck die <laughs> I see um, I, can, I can't I can't do the joke because I can't do the joke because that would be racist but yes thanks um, that translates I don't know if it is subtitled and translated or if it's just subtitled as pop guy it, no I don't think it is it's it's what? just yeah I know what it means but I yeah it, it's not translated it's what Cameron felt like after backing up into that Harley yes yeah you hear yes. it a lot what, what's the saying with the pork buns the pork buns you know more you're not a man unless you have a pork bun yeah so yeah. the first achievement I decided to work on was just like alright I'm gonna go to the market get all the food items done yep um, yeah pork buns he he like he, it's like a one pound fish guy, he likes to market him. Um, other than that, decided to start working in case files. Just start making my way down the list. Did one case file, which is me following a boat to this Russian. Oh, that I, one. Yeah. I want to say she's a Russian hawker, but I don't. No, she no she she well. Uh, she is a hostess. Okay, okay. Just slightly different. Well, and and the difference is. It's the difference is they're not paid to uh, go further, and technically it's illegal to go further. Okay, they're just um, paid to entertain. They're paid to, yeah, to spend time with you. Okay. There, there are many similar services where you are essentially paying a female to spend time with you. There's lots of bars that just just general bars, not just karaoke bars. You get them in karaoke bars. You get them in normal bars. Um, yeah, they essentially you've you. Uh, you wouldn't have seen Buran Host Club. No. I don't even know if that's what it's called anymore. Got no idea. Host Club Buran. Buran High School Host Club. Yeah. Yeah. No, never heard of it. Yeah, of course not. You should watch it. It'll explain a lot. But yeah, they're just they're paid to spend time with you. You pay for their drinks. You pay for everything they use. Um, depending on the place. If they choose of their own free will to go home and you go to the same home, that's of their own free will and unrelated to any activities you have done within their establishment. Very clearly within the defines of the law. Okay, Very clearly, like... two consenting adults going separately. All right, I feel like you're going up against Phoenix Wright and this is your um, <laughs> yeah, basic yeah. case. <laughs> Consenting just adults. Saying, Cameron. <laughs> yeah. They are just going to a place that you are also coincidentally going to at the same time 
as two separate adults doing separate things in the same place. Just with less clothes than what they entered in with, yeah? I mean, not necessarily. Could be more. Yeah. I Depends mean, what you're into. I don't what judge. Like, you know. But yeah, yeah, um, I, I remember that mission, yeah, where you got to chase down the boat and you'll... Yeah, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just like, uh, like, what what's happening here? And then I just popped the achievement for the completing all cases. Oh, great, like, okay. Oh, okay, this, this is where I decided to end the campaign, like... You have a bad habit of doing that, just being like, I'm just going to stop this game now. (laughs) Come back, unlock unlock the case. So, majority of the achievements I need in the game now are just all miscellaneous stuff that I need to... um, You need to get, like, 27 golds? Yeah, that one's a pain. Uh, Especially uh, on the 360 if you want to do another version. Oh, yeah. Especially when you forget that you're working on that other version or offline and accidentally start the game up online when you're two-thirds of the way through it and Mm -hmm. have to restart Mm -hmm. from the very beginning. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure that's painful. Oof. Big oof. Um, So, yeah, did a whole lot of that. Got the food achievement, got the cases, and then just absolutely confused as to what I should be doing now. Welcome to Hong Kong. I'll figure it out. I mean, Hong Kong most... is a lovely place, and I highly recommend traveling there when all those we are allowed to travel. Yeah, I honestly, it's a yeah beautiful place. So Rainbow Six Siege, um, decided to play a little bit last night. Uh, Mad Rocket. Who did you play as? Who was your Who was your one you used the most? I played as Blitz. I played as Ash. I played as Cap. Um, Cap- is it Kaplan? Kaplan. I want to say it's I don't Kaplan. know. Uh, it has a tripwire, kind of. Uh-huh, okay. I, I think it's Kaplan, but I'm Did, not... Are all the characters unlocked, or do you have to sort of earn your no, way to some? No, um, I think I've got Series 1 unlocked, and that's pretty much it. So I, yeah. I picked it up. I don't want to say I picked it up at launch, but I think it dropped quitty, uh, quickly, like most uh, Ubisoft titles. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, as I had four achievements left. I had nitro cells, stun grenades, so ten of each of those. I had uh, breach charge, and I have um, go for a ranked match without losing a single round. So I was playing with Nick or Mad Rockets. I can't even say it. Mad Rockets. Mad Rockatansky. That's it. Thank you. Mad Rao Rao Katan Sky. Yep. Okay, so he, he's like, you know, you're a scrub. We're not playing ranked. To which I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. I'll do. I'll just work on it. Oh, <laughs> I, you know what? I think I think I proved him wrong. I think I did a very good job last night, and he can't say anything bad except for the first three rounds, to which I was god horrendous. But I got some really good nitro. Three rounds out of four. No, like we uh, we're playing with two of his friends. Three sets remember. of matches. Yeah, three sets of matches. Um, like the first few. Yeah, warming up. I'm like, what's this button do? Oh, yeah, this is... And then I'm just... there's, there's so many times last night where I was just like, oh, I remember this map. It's exactly how I remember it. No, they reworked it. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I love when that happens. Every, yeah, they... every yeah. single map from oh, the first year. They yeah, reworked. they reworked it all because it, going into ranked, they, I mean, if you have things exactly the same, it gets boring. And because people I also broke think it they pretty significantly. reworked some stuff with because of the release in China, but I don't oh. recall. Yeah, they like I that know was they changed some though, things. It? Uh, yeah, it might not have been. It might have been more than that as well. But I know they reverted a lot of the changes in the international version. I also okay, like it's only semi-related. I don't know how I feel anymore about playing a Ubisoft title. How do you mean? Like gi- given everything, mm. I don't know. If I feel good playing, like not even like feel good, like I don't know if I want to play a title created by them anymore. Mm. Yeah, I can see that. They they have That's, like I they've just, had nothing but bad press recently. I just I feel like by and nothing against you. I don't like you. you mm. Do you? I feel like personally playing it. If I'm not part of the solution, I'm part of the problem. Mm. Yeah, but and I don't still... often feel like that. And I just... Just, yeah, it's with Ubisoft, it's weird. Because okay. it's, it's I guess it's a lot more closer to home because it's 
things that I enjoy and mm. I mean not Ubisoft titles yeah <laughs> I, I, I Sorry, meant mean... video I meant playing video games and oh, not okay. there are the allegations okay right we're just just yeah okay yeah I, I saw your shifty eyes and went wait wait what is why is he <laughs> yeah I, should I we should we just games. just dance around this topic or oh okay no that's... I love <laughs> that's the thing that's that's what I was gonna say. I know that Just Dance is like one of your 2016, 2017, 18, yeah. 19, and twenty. I bought all at the same time. But you, you make a good point. I, to me, there's just enough of a dissociation in my head between the both. You can separate the art from the artist. Yeah. Yeah. Fair and enough. To, to I... me, this is like, you know, fair enough with all the bad press in the last year or so. I probably wouldn't start this now. But then but then I'm also like, I've already paid for the games. Yeah, that's that's exactly yeah, it. Like, it I'm four like, achievements away. I've already supported them. I don't want it. Well, Like, well, I don't Matt, like the fact that I have, but I've already done it, so... Yeah. I, I guess then I'll pass the question off to Matt then. If you were, if you were like, say, 10 achievements away from completing it, and then, you know, Ubisoft CEO comes out for murder, or... I don't think murder would be as bad as <laughs> like but it, it, it turns out Eve Guillermo was <laughs> in on it the entire time okay okay what okay question of the week then what does a game publisher or developer have to do to stop Matt from playing a game halfway through Jesus um that and it cannot be something that like directly impacts Matt like they yeah, can't yeah, okay, purchase yeah, New Zealand that. Boy, wow, you just really... See, you, you, the problem with integrity is you don't know what it, what your what your level of integrity is until it gets... Until it's too... Until it's pushed too far. Exactly. Yeah. Like, you um, can say, I wouldn't play these games anymore after this. Yeah, but like... But I'm like, last 10, one, away, I'm, I'm like 10 minutes away from the last achievement. Mm. That's, yeah. I can't think of base... Um, you know what? I'll, I'll be honest, I can't think of literally anything that would stop me. It... Uh, would you purchase no, something? No, absolutely not. No, no. no way. But, okay. but li- literally, if it's something that I've already owned and I've already started, like I, they have them, they have their money. Me not, not playing their game affects them literally nothing. Because mm-hmm. like I don't tend to buy microtransactions. I don't play live service stuff. Like again, like would I want to support that going forward? Absolutely not. But like. Mm-hmm. It's too late now. It is way too late. It's in terms of yeah, um, you know, I don't know. They're, they're busy. It's, look, it is. It's a. It's tough. It's tough because you want to. It inside you want to do the right thing morally. Yeah, mm. most. Yeah, for the but most part. it's. It's also our addiction. Yeah, well, absolutely. Like, uh, yeah, this is. Uh, it's it's a hard one, right? And there's there's no. I don't think, like like many of these scenarios, in the same thing when I know when, uh, when Shadow Complex came out, and the story the story behind Shadow Complex is part of the Empire series, which is written by Orson Scott Card, the guy who wrote Ender's Game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and okay. he's yep. yeah massively anti-gay, supports uh, Mormons, and like literally financially supports you know. Um, massive anti-gay agendas in terms of legally and potentially non-legal avenues um and the idea being that like if you buy this game obviously there are thousands of people who work on video games but Mm -hmm. he will make some residual money off of you buying that that game and like you know it's yeah like you said separating the art from the artist is basically impossible in today's day and age um but i think in order to you know, I'm not going to get into the whole thing that there's no such thing as ethical consumption because someone down the line is getting is getting screwed over by just the the society that we live in. Yeah. So I mean, you you have to you have to take everything with a grain of salt, and you have to decide where your own boundaries are. Um, I. I mean, you know, like, I don't think I'm, I'm I don't think I'm ever going to buy a Ubisoft game again. Yeah, I'm I'm honestly like I'm yeah I'm probably not. I mean, I was already falling off the cliff in that regards because... The games are bad. They're really tough to to want to buy. Yeah. And now they're tough to, to justify buying. Exactly, yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Again, I haven't, I haven't been playing a lot of Ubisoft stuff for a while now, but... 
well i'm playing the division but that's you know i didn't buy the second one and i haven't again it sort of fits well into my not buying things this year anyway mm -hmm. um, but mm. well on that depressing note <laughs> um how much game storage did you get buddy oh i was gonna finish it off with a little bit of another story i, so, I think that i think it's finished off i i, I i've got a quick one that i just want to yeah quickly what do you got what do you got on. Uh, I so bet Eves wanted to finish it off too. No, no, God damn! It. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have God. to cut that. I can't leave that in. <laughs> okay, so when we were working on Rainbow Six Siege last night, so one of the absolute, probably luckiest based achievements for me would be um, kill somebody with breach charge. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So a good way to get around that is inviting randoms from the uh, enemy team and getting them to join your party. <laughs> Oh, I'm just like you I, had a man on the inside. I was literally. like, I, I had a woman on the inside, mm -hmm. so I invited. I invited, Doc <laughs> I invited this chick to the party. Um, what did and, Nikita have to say about it? Oh, mate, I, I got more to the story. So then, um, I'm just like to Nick before this happened. Just like, look, I'll just invite somebody from the other side. I'm gonna quickly. I'm just gonna get them to help me with the achievement. It'll be absolutely like. He's like, no, you got to get some guy in his 40s that's just going to call you out as a cheater and just yell at you. In and out, quick like adventure, minutes. two minutes. Yeah, exactly it. So I invited invited this um, one on the opposite team. I invited a few people. Somebody joined the party finally. Smin Kin... What was it? Smin Kin... I'm sure Ocean they really appreciate like you calling them out on this podcast. Ah, absolutely. So yeah, I'm just like, you know, do you mind helping? Two seconds. Yep. Bang. Without, within two minutes, got my achievement. Leaves the party. Two minutes later, I'm just like, oh, message. She sent me laugh hearts. Oh, okay. Well, that's cute. I was like, this is weird. I'm like, oh, yeah, cool. That, like, thanks for helping me with this achievement. Yeah, sure. No problem. Anytime. Like, yeah, like, that. that's the kind of messages <laughs> I go back. I'm like, yeah, just strictly here for the achievements. <laughs> Daddy. No, oh, okay. <laughs> All right. All so, right. Uh, so what? Uh, how much games got did you earn this week? Uh, two thousand three hundred and fifty, and I hopefully will have Rainbow Six Siege done this week. Nice. To be fair, that was that was from Middle Diction Schwartz. <laughs> that was it. Yes. I am not usually a fan of improv. They do very very well. Have you seen it? I've uh, I watched the first episode. Yeah. Yeah, they do. What that's in the second episode. That's very. Oh, okay. I mean, the, the audience member is a little annoying after a bit. Just kind of read the room, learn, learn when the spotlight's moved away from you. Yeah. Um, kind of deal. But no, the 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 next two, yeah, episodes two and three are quite good. I didn't think I'd be a fan until I was. Oh, hello, Discord. Oh wow, there's only two left on the Series X competition. Wow, that was quick. Oh, jeez. Man, there are a lot of people smarter than me. Let me check my emails to make sure I didn't get anything. Damn, that would make I, a I good hadn't even had a look at it yet. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just... Nope, definitely not. Unless it's in junk. Nope, definitely not. Alright. Fire Club, go all way. <laughs> okay, add email. Elder Abuse Association... Cool. <laughs> all right. What? I'm right, sorry. Right. What? But like elder uh, gods. Right. Like is it like a we're, we're, we're really we're really trading the line tonight, aren't we? Yeah. The like, thing is, that's just an email I've gotten. Like it's not even me. They've spelled elder wrong. Oh. Okay. Elder. The e l d a r. Oh. Okay. So it's it's basically just okay. warhammer. Okay. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, moving on to game sales. Uh, as we've hit the middle of the month, the Games with Gold for the Xbox One title is moving on to the Book of Unwritten Tales 2. Um, I don't know what the other one is. I'm sure it's an original Xbox One. Yeah, I think it was it? Like Return uh, Fire or something. Armed and Dangerous. Armed and Dangerous. Oh, that's it, yeah. yeah. Some, okay, yeah. some trash. I hear good things about that. but Nailed it. Perfect. Um, I only noticed that because it was in the sales article yes, as 100% off. That's, that's how I remembered. <laughs> uh, we do have some games added to game pass and we do have some that are leaving so the ones that have been have been or will be added to game pass uh company of heroes 2 complete collection 
on the 17th of September. That's for Windows 10. Uh, Destiny 2, September 22nd, with the Path Seeker? The Shadow... S- I don't know. Shadow Keep and Forsaken. Yeah. Yeah. Expansions. Um, they also join xCloud, because some of these are... So that's uh, for the yeah. Xbox and xCloud. Uh, Halo ODST for the Halo Master Chief Collection on xCloud and PC. If you want to do uh, that with me, I'd be totally for it because I love ODST. ODST is great. No, thank you. Uh, Night in the Woods. Fantastic game. Cannot recommend it enough. Really hoping... I don't... I'm just going to quickly look at the game. Is it Play Anywhere? It's not Play Anywhere. It's coming to PC as well. Yep. Really hope that's a stack. That'd be nice. That was, that was a fantastic game. Um, yep, to xCloud... Xbox console Game Pass and Xbox PC Game Pass and Warhammer Vermintide 2 no Brad we won't be playing this with you uh, for xCloud and console Game Pass That's those two are on September 24th uh, Leaving, we ha- we're assuming these are leaving on the 30th we don't know for sure obviously because I don't think dates have been given they don't tend to they just but, it usually soon, is the, but it's usually the end of the month yeah, yeah. it's usually the end of the month uh, Bad North Dirt Rally 2.0 on both the console and Windows 10 Dishonored 2 on the console and Windows 10. Ukulele, Westerado Double Barreled. I'll have to get onto that one. Mm, yes. And Panzer Dragoon Orta. Okay. Uh, Game Score Games. Not many this week. Knee Deep, 70% off, $4.49. Mecco Tales, 80% off, $0.99. Cents. And Slayaway Camp Butcher's Cut, 75% off, $4.24. Matt decided to do all three recommendations for us. Yep, I've, I, I'm Thanks, looking at buddy. them. We didn't have any get basically any game score games, but there were some stuff in there that I would highly recommend that wouldn't fit into our mm-hmm. normal categories. So I'm recommending uh, Dragon's Dogma: Dark Arisen, sixty-seven percent off, nine dollars eighty-nine. It is a fantastic uh, open-world RPG, uh, which it has a lot of Western elements, but is made by Capcom. So it's a very interesting mix. Uh, the only problem with it is that they took out the amazing in, um, title music from the original game and replaced it with some generic crap. But the rest of the game is fantastic. Uh, also recommending Monster Boy in the Cursed Kingdom, 55% off uh, seventeen ninety nine. Uh, one of my games of the year last year. Side-scrolling Metroidvania with an amazing art style, lots of depth to it, and actually quite a bit of challenge. Uh, but like all, like the right amount of challenge, I would say. Uh, and then also mm-hmm. kind of on that on that sort of adventure bend, uh, Ocean Horn, Master of the Uncharted Seas, 55% off, $6.74. It is essentially a mobile version of Zelda, of the sort of top-down... Uh, think, think combine Wind Waker with um, Link to the Past. And also, you know, but like not, not quite as tight. But, uh, but really, really good fun. All right. And... Uh strangely enough you've got something in the potential purchases i don't know that you've actually uh, actually potentially purchasing it but no but it was it was on my radar uh, everreach project eden 50 percent off 12 dollars 49 looks quite interesting uh sort of adventure game i uh, don't really know it's the first time i've sort of seen it i think it came out last year um, yeah end of last year apparently mm. so yeah it's the first time i've seen it um first time i've seen it but on sale as well um and you know ratio wise it looks like it's not too bad yeah, the ratio almost matches the star rating it's got in TA. <laughs> yeah. 1.94. Yeah, that's, you know, hey. Because I was looking at that as well. And it's not often that I don't know what a game is because I, I work on the, on the site. I basically see everything. It's rare that I have not heard of a game or don't recall hearing it. And yeah, this, this one's uh, blown past me. I am probably looking at the Anima sequel. Mm, yep, it's a good one. The Gates of Memories, uh, Nameless Chronicles. Nameless yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, uh, Atomicrops, which is I think a farming roguelite game. It's a roguelite farming simulator. <laughs> okay, right. And it's I think it's exactly what you think it is. Right. Okay. Yeah, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of considering the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 campaign the remaster mm-hmm. oh okay is that on sale mm. yeah so that's half off Ooh. I think no not half I think 30% 40% 25 25 25, 25. Okay. 
Okay, maybe Th those not things then. don't usually go on sale. To be fair, they they um, Activision yeah. tend to be pretty tight with their Call of Duty stuff. S saying that, uh, I was going to quickly. You still got more that you're going with, or? Uh, Everreach, as mentioned, and Hovership Havoc. Okay. And that's yeah. I was quickly going to mention that Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Season Pass is actually on sale for 60% off. Oh, okay, yeah, that's well worth it. Season Passes never go on sale for Activision games, especially Call of Duties, yeah. in my experience, but um, there's that, and in terms of picking up, I might get a digital copy of World War Z because it's 70% off at 1348, and I hear good things. I hear long, grindy things. Yeah, it's just one of those games that I might eventually play I don't know fair enough oh damn it I did send the right link I just got beaten to it ah oh well oh, that's not what okay I see where the X that's not running out of time to master call me maybe I'm just dense anyway do we have anything new coming out this week that we care about uh, uh, let me momentarily look. Scroll up the sales. Up scroll, the scroll quicker. No, I was just, I'm just annoyed at the one of the answers. That was, it was very dumb. It was the Sea of Thieves update. I, it sounded. I guess there's a battle royale update, but uh, it didn't. End, I don't. Yeah, annoyed. Um, the eFootball Pez 2021, which, and I want to clarify. Dave clarified. This is not a new game. It's just an update on a season update for the 2020 version, ah. except it's it's full priced and is a new tile on your dashboard. But the eFootball Pez 2021 season update comes out today. It's not a new game; it's just an update, except it's it's a new game, and you you pay basically full price for it. Yep. So so they're, they're they're doing away with even pretending that it's a new game and not just a roster yep. update and just admitting it. Yep, it's a completely new list as well. Thousand game score. It, yeah, yeah. Uh, quick looking. Crisis Remastered comes out Friday. Oh yep. That's Better run Crisis. Yep. Oh, Harvest Moon Light of Hope Special Edition Complete comes out oh, gosh. Friday as well. <laughs> yeah. What? Uh, Alison loves the Harvest Moon games, and she looked at this, and, and even she was like, "Nah, I'm good." So. It's. What are you talking about? I don't know. It's basically Harvest Moon. I don't know, man. I just work here. Okay, Secret Order: Return to the Buried Kingdom. Who do you think makes that game? What publisher? Uh, Artifacts Mundi. Oh, what a good guess! <laughs> Got it in oh, one. If you if you want to go by the store listing, it's Secret Order: Return to the Buried Kingdom, Xbox One edition. Oh, I see. Right. Every single one of them. <laughs> Yeah, uh, those. Yeah, that's coming out Friday. That's basically it. Nothing, nothing spectacular this week in terms of uh, new games. Uh, we do have a couple community questions. Yep, yeah, good. We did, we did lump in fight clubs with that one because yeah, it kind of went together. It, yeah. Cool. Uh, and I, I've not looked at my stuff at all, so I don't actually know my game collection. But Saber Lone Wolf has asked. I don't know if you guys have answered this before, but what's the game you regret the most starting? Matt's is Neverwinter. Mine is honestly probably Neverwinter too. I mean, look, if it was never start, like, like it used to be Neverwinter. Uh huh. But I've actually like I am actually four achievements away from finishing that game. Yeah. So right now, it's it's honorable mention to Neverwinter. It's definitely but... honorable mention because I've put a lot of time and I have complained a lot about that that game over the last hundred years that i've been playing it um oh man there are so many terrible games that i really really wish i hadn't played um i know alex would say ninja gaiden 2 i could see that uh i would probably say Graw, the original Graw, uh, just mm -hmm. for those leaderboard achievements uh, but i could also see myself saying uh, wolfenstein 2 for my laban um mm -hmm. just because the minute I got the first achievement is pretty much when I realized how difficult the mind labor achievement was. I was like, I was within like 30 minutes of me starting that game is when I found out how screwed I was. It was so close. Like if I just done a little, if I'd waited a little bit longer and waited for someone to basically tell me and actually looked, 
that I wouldn't have played it. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, and then the one that I want to, yeah, I, I wish I hadn't played Homefront. The original Homefront is also a big one because of just how many discontinues are in that list. Yep. Okay. Um. Honestly, mine's probably going to be something way back to oh man I wish I hadn't added all these damn games to my collection that I haven't started yeah I took all mine out Neverwinter is probably high up there for me um once I finally get to the stuff that I've started here we go uh I mean there's just a lot of stuff I haven't put any time into so I don't know uh Rogue Redemption possibly hmm a lot of the Connect stuff I started oh, yeah. fairly recently that I really I was like I did it and then I'm like why did I do that? Connect Adventures is yeah the one Connect game that I well played. yeah Fighters Uncaged oh yeah the Black Eyed Peas experience SpongeBob Surf and Skate Road Trip Grease Dance uh, Fable the Journey mm. you get that one that one's not too bad. Is there anything else that was connect? Connect Joyride, that's alright. I mean, I'm super excited for Sesame <coughs> Street Once Upon a Monster. <laughs> Where, I'm sure there's a filter for connect required. Connect required, there we go. Uh, that's incorrect. I'm going to fix that. Nickelodeon Dance is fine. Carnival Games, Monkey See, Monkey Do. Uh, Sonic Free Riders, oh, Me God, Coach. Yeah. A lot of bad um, stuff on the Connect. Yeah, get fit with Mel B. I figured that would be in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, just I, because I'm like, yeah, I've got a Connect. I bought a Connect now. Bought all these games. It'd be great. Got one achievement in all of these games. Like, eh, this is this is this is exactly how I thought it'd be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So probably like off the top of my head, all the Connect games that I've started, they're just yeah. No. I mean, I could barely do the one achievement in Project Spark. Ugh. Yeah. What are we- uh, Cameron? Uh, I, look, I would put Neverwinter in the list only because its servers are still up. Uh, Onigirl was one that I got one Onigiri. Uh, Onigiri, sorry. Um, Shape Up started to do that this year and then having those three discontinued achievements. Yeah really really put me in a bad mood about that uh, same thing with Xbox Fitness when that was originally out I had all those discontinued as well um, saying that at the end of the day I don't really care that much because I mean my completion percentage isn't great and I don't expect it to be great anytime soon I'm just more so just playing what I enjoy or just trying to finish off the games that I'm very close to getting done um. Yeah, I I think just Xbox One fitness games. Saying that, I do have four hundred and thirty five gamer score in Zuma Fitness World Party <laughs> that I need to finish off from twenty fourteen, and it's only a fifteen hour completion. Oh, you got this, easy. So I might just do some Zumba on the weekend, depending on how I'm feeling. But um. Oh, just easy list, yeah. Finished with two player song with ten stars. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. Play for right. twelve hours in a month. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, say Lone Wolf's answer to that was next up hero. The game was super buggy and completing it became impossible, especially one. when they took it off Game Pass. Yeah, it's not a great game. No. Uh, sort of along that same vein, Fight Club has said if you could remove one game from your tag, what would it be and why? It can be for any reason, discontinued achievements, terrible game. Just realized it's super similar to uh, Lone Sable Wolf's... Sable Lone Wolf, even. No, Lone Sable Wolf. That's it. That's your new name. Uh, Lone Wolf yeah, for the sword. So, yep. Yep. One game I could remove. A Halo Master Chief Collection. I'm like... Mm. That's actually probably... No. Because I, I started it, because I'm like, yeah, I'll bean dive this. It'd be great. It'd be awesome. Oh, look at my percentage drop. I hate Halo. Why did I start Halo? It's, but like with the PC version now, it's at least a lot easier. I'm definitely going to trainer the crap out of it. <laughs> I'm going to have to cut that. Not trainer. 
uh, you, know, mods. you know what? No, you know no, what? no was, I, I said trainer. I was thinking the mods that you use and then you change to a proper save and get it legitimately. <clears throat> that um, totally legit method. Well, it's, it's legitimate enough in that the devs support that action. Mm. So, yeah. You know what? I've got 110% going to finish it by myself that way. Except for the multiplayer. Yeah. You need some of that. I'm not even kidding. That's the only way I'm going to complete Halo Master Chief Collection. It's the only way I ever see myself completing it. Just get somebody drag it for a while. It's fine. Yeah, but no, but I have to be a lot more active there. Mm. Um, bloody zombies. Yo, oh, I'm glad I didn't Alex. start that. <laughs> Alex! Oh, uh, yeah, when we playing that, buddy? That's why he doesn't listen to us. I, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think there's anything I'd really remove. Like, there's games that I see on here that I just go, I'll go back and do that one day. Like, uh, Rocksmith. Mm. Like, that is a, that is an absolute grind of a completion. But, I mean, like... You can do it. At the end of the, end of the day, you'll learn a skill. Sure. That it's much easier to pick up chicks than having a guitar. Trust me, there are way easier ways. Don't, you don't have to learn guitar. Like, learning guitar is a good I, way of doing it, but there's you put way too much effort into it when you, like, could, like, be rich or something. Look, I, I got a girlfriend just out of luck. So yeah, see, there you um, go. So you don't need to learn guitar. Happy. It's fine. Don't worry about it. That's exactly it. I slap my electric guitar over here gathering dust. Alison's never heard me play it, and she never will. Um, mm-hmm. I have Come a bass on, guitar. Oh, well, there you go. Wonder. I played whoa. bass. Wonder. No, no, no. Wonder. No. I played bass because six strings was too much for my four <laughs> fingers. I couldn't wrap my head around it. Yeah, there you go. I yeah. can do four strings and four fingers. Yep. That's easy. Makes sense, yeah. Six strings, just, it screwed my head. That, that's it, just someone like gave me a five string uh, bass one time. I was like, I don't, I, I literally can't. I don't. Yeah, what do you do? Yeah. All right, um, yeah, I would like I the thing. My problem is I have too many games I want to remove. Like I said, like it's, there's heaps of them. Like like anything with a discontinued, I just want to take it out. I'm just going to be want to be done with it. Like there's so many bad games and they just need is, to die. Um, is there anything in your raw? It's like 200 hours or something massive like that. that you you've played Grow. I play Grow. Grow is the one I think is the correct answer. The original Grow. Okay. It just needs to go. Um, yep. Just because those leaderboard achievements are, you know, they have scores attached to them and they're basically impossible. <sighs> yeah, I just, yeah, need to be. I, I would love to. I would like. I would give Microsoft money to be able to clean my account up a little bit. I'm not talking like 50 titles that I want to cut out. Maybe like 10. Not, yeah, 10 at most. Yeah, like there's like there's like 10 that I just really want to just remove and just not have to think about ever again. Um, and I would give them a lot of money for that. Get a job in Microsoft. Uh, yeah, n- work yourself up the chain. You joke, but like I was looking at my career path, I was like, I could get into Microsoft marketing. That's fine. I could slowly work my way up there. I Allison, Allison's from Seattle. I could move over to Redmond. Um, yeah. Just I, I could totally see you doing it. Too. Oh, absolutely. Oh, that's how petty and ridiculous I am when it comes to this stuff that I waste my time on. Uh, we also had another question. We certainly did. Once, as soon as I go back to the Trello, after I yep. finish setting this server uh, shut down. <laughs> Alright, do you want me to read it? Consolidator, Natalie, Natalie, Natalie. Nah. Uh, Envy Adams has asked us Have any of you ever thought about doing something like Macca does and streaming as well? When I first started out hunting, I always wanted to try and get into making achievement videos or stream my sessions of hunting, but never had the means to get it done. I did that for a year. Um, and I sort of. Every- like, I really want to get back into it, but I'm just too tired, and I don't have the time and I, or the personality. Um, I feel like Mixer made it easier. Think What would you say? I feel like Mixer made it easier, too. Well, I never went through the console, so it didn't matter. Mm. I did it, like, I did it quote-unquote properly, like, so through that trips, I had... Yeah. Professor Pluto 1 Not, was not even thing, through, right? through a capture card. No, I... So I could I see mean, the like, pops and stuff. I, I, I'm doing it through stream, um... Streamlabs OBS, and I just felt Mixer was much easier than using Twitch. Whatever reason, I whenever I try and use Twitch, it just seems like much more difficult than what it needs to be. 
Okay, yeah, fair enough. I Again, because I was going through a capture card and stuff, I never got that experience, so I don't know. Um, like it, it, they felt basically identical, except I was hitting up a different server. Um, I mean, that's that's the thing that was good that I did enjoy doing was um, streaming for UHH. Yeah. Mm. So I did for UHH. T- I think I did that for two. Yeah, I did it for two because I was like, man, I did really good in the first one. I'll do great in this one. Whoops, I got sniped by an alt. <laughs> well, uh, but then UHH3 and I think UHH4, I streamed most, if not all of it, and I really enjoyed it. Like, it's... I, I, I think that's something I'm very good at is being able to jump from game to game, targeting a specific achievement and, and doing that, so... I think that showed off me quite well. Um, I mean, that's literally how Fug became my game share partner. Was he watched enough of my streams? I was like, "Eh, screw it. Here, have all my games." That's basically it. Yeah. He's one of the few people that sort of watched a lot of my streams. I'm like, "Yeah, go for it." And now you're like, "Man, Never I really should have picked someone who actually buys stuff." I. <laughs> I'm sure if I gave him the chance, I 110. <laughs> if I left, if I let games go on sale like three times, he'd probably buy them. Yeah, eventually. But I don't. Can't take, I go, can't take that risk. Negative five percent off. I'm in. Wait, what? No, I'm in. It's on sale. <laughs> don't want to lose money. Yeah, exactly. I'm losing money by not buying it. I, I, I gotta say, uh, when you and Alex stream Rocket League, it is very enjoyable to watch. When I stream what? I can't. Rocket Your League. microphone Rocket keeps League. cutting out super low. Are you downloading Sunset Overdrive again? I'm not. I'm not. It's installation stopped. Um, Rocket League, you and Alex. Yeah. Playing. It is I very could... entertaining to just watch Alex rage. I could do more Rocket League streams, and I really should. They're very fun. But the problem is... Get Kiwi involved. Problem is I'm not good enough where it's like... I get people coming in. I'm good. I'm good enough that this sort of the expectation that i'm okay because i don't do terrible Mm -hmm. but i'm not so but i'm not good enough to be at that expectation because if you're really bad people are like like yeah that's cool you're trying you're having fun if you're sort of once you start getting a bit better people like man why didn't you hit that That that's that's easy i hit that in my sleep and it's like okay i'm only this rank i'm pretty to bad i've got one eye just cut me some slack okay (laughs) that's the only issue with rocket league is the, the community is really nice to people who've just started and toxic as hell if you've been playing for more than 10 minutes. Yep. Yeah. Still enjoy it. Um, and did, did you, why, why did you stop streaming, Cameron? Like I said, Mixer. Mixer dive. Okay. Uh. And Matt never <laughs> streams, so that's yeah, fine. Yeah, I... I, I, do, I do want to get back into it at one point. But I don't no, think I'll ever do anything like that. It's the time and the effort. It is a lot of energy expenditure. Mm. And when I'm getting up at five, like 4.30 in the morning every day, it's I don't have that energy. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I can probably do it on a weekend day and something if I could actually be bothered, but mm. it just depends. Um, you did remind me of something with your Envy Adams joke before. I didn't even bring up the fact that the Scott Pilgrim announcement this week. Yeah, it's, they're just re-releasing the game. It's fine. It's, it's yeah. the best thing to ever happen. It'll be good. I'll play it again. Yeah, it is online co-op. We'll play it. Yeah. All three of us will play it. Because I think it is actually three-player, not is four. Is it three or four? It has four. No, no sorry. It, <coughs> it has three. It's three. It's only three. Three-player three co-op, three yeah. yeah. Look, look, I've already got Nikita. Oh, yeah, okay, it's four. It's, it's four, four, four players. So. It's four-player co-op, yeah. Um, so I play as well and as... it comes with a DLC, so you, I can play as knives. Yeah, and be the, the I, Asian girl I've always wanted to be. I want to re-release for the 360 DLC. Is it still not going to happen? No, I want not. it so bad. No. Um, uh, Say, saying that quickly before you move on to that tweet, just like the from, creator from Brian O'Malley. Yeah, the creator calling out. It's like thank you to the fans. This yeah, couldn't that's be right. possible for our Huge years. thank you to the fans who never shut up about the Scott Pilgrim game. Not once. Ever. Even for one second and let me sleep. This game belongs to you. Now please get out of my house. Yep. Sounds yep. about right. 
yeah. and then in terms of so streaming maybe. for me um i am really not a fan of streaming to be honest um uh like kirby i don't really have the personality for it and my approach to achievement hunting is very um i just really boring like i'm very much a yeah i i, I play games most of the time for single player for enjoyment uh, although i have been getting more into the co-op stuff that we've been doing which has been really good and like maybe streaming that would be good but i think streaming on my own i just don't have the the drive or the personality or, or even the interest i f- mm. i feel if we streamed like strange brigade and sure Dead that's Island yeah exactly that's... i mean we'd get demonetized in about five seconds but <laughs> i'd be great it It'd would be great be, for it, would be, it would be pretty fun you have to be monetized to get demonetized yeah, you know <laughs> exactly yeah um, and then in terms of like doing like video game like videos and achievement guides and that kind of stuff yeah. I mean in the position that I'm at where all the games that I played like maybe but that mm-hmm. market is so oversaturated right now with people like it like we're already already in a small niche and there's already people like Macca like Bills um, from you know we've got like Hidden Levels and Ach- Achievement Squad and, like so many different people doing achievement and trophy guides that like there's just Look. really no point you, you already yeah. have people to give you free red alarkers. Why bother? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, I, like I, I spend all of my time actually playing my video games and not trying to be entertaining. And I include this podcast on in that because I'm definitely not entertaining anybody with this trash. <laughs> not with the trash you play. Yeah, well, there's, there's also that. True. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That Moving on that? to our milestones. We have a few milestones. You step it up, guys. You disappointing us uh in achievements one professor pluto has fifteen thousand, uh outdone by my game share partner what the fog seventeen thousand. suck it alex even when i'm not beating you someone related to me is beating you uh planting 42 has thirty three thousand achievements valak c has hit 500 games played and in leaderboards mark b is both the top 100 and top 50 of the TA leaderboard for cycling. How did that happen? Uh, how, how do you make such a jump in a week? Ah, uh, he's, you know... I'm sure it's a very small board. I was going to say, it's very much like the Tour de France. You just, you get the right injections and you just shoot all the way up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was a downhill cancel? section. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kushmoose is now in the top 500 of the TA leaderboard for platformer and roguelite. I'm 61st. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, Level 6 Vegan is now in the top 10 of the game score leaderboard for basketball. Wow. If, okay, and that's everyone. That's it. Unless <laughs> that's unless it. something's coming in the last little bit, which I'll quickly look now. I don't. I have the channel muted so that I can just jump to where I need to jump to, and I don't know where it is. No, there it good. is. Found it. We're good. Uh, Kush Moose has reached the top 200 of platformer and roguelite leaderboard. I'm still 61st. Yeah, no, I think we got that. Yeah, I just wanted to point out I am better than him. And I haven't touched a roguelite in a long time. I think because he finished Goner. Ah, and right. it was leaving Game Pass, so... Ah, okay. wonder if I own that. Time to check. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, that's basically going to wrap up 108. Uh, if you would like to contact us, you can do so through email. Hello at realgamescore.com. Uh, hit us up on the Twitter, at realgamerscore. Um, Discord is also a great way to talk to us. Discord.io slash Real Score. If you want to put questions, please put them in podcast questions and discuss them elsewhere. Uh, just have a chat with us. We have a new serious chat that opened up that is for stuff that we don't like. It's serious stuff. Serious business talk. Uh, no, not Siri. God damn it. Sorry, I missed that. <laughs> Super serious. What a... What? What perfect timing for that to happen. Uh, <laughs> no, but it's, if, if you're going through anything or, like, you want a safe space to talk, that is the place to do it. Even, like, especially given the global climate. So, honestly, don't be afraid to open up and talk. Like, it's a very supportive community. We are a close-knit group, and we are there for everyone. Yeah. No matter what situation you're in. Patreon, patreon.com slash realgamerscore, $2, $5, $10 monthly. I'm going to this week look into local currency and see if I can do better deals for local stuff instead of relying on the exchange because I think I can do Australian uh, pound and euro now, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'll look into that this weekend. 
uh, write into write in questions on any of those platforms, and we'll answer them on the show. That is pretty much oh, I did that stuff. If you want to help out the podcast in other ways, you can do so by subscribing on whatever platform you're listening to. I'm sure you already are because that's definitely how you got it. But subscribe again, unsubscribe, resub, easy. Uh, tell your friends. Word of mouth is one of the most important ways to promote the show. As I said, boosting sessions. If you're in a Discord server and you haven't talked about us in a little bit, feel free to um, mention us there that that's what you listen to while you grind. Because uh, they're all... It, it, honestly, podcasts are really great background noise while you sort of are just grinding away at achievements or stuff like that instead of music. Plus, who knows? Maybe we're entertaining. Maybe you'll th- hear a game that you're interested in and want to... Or someone else will hear a game they're interested in and can get it on our recommendation. Uh, leave a review, retweet us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, all those good things. Uh, Cameron, when people want to contact you, how will they do so? Contact me on Twitter, contact me on Xbox, TA, um, Twitter, just under the little Gamescore account, and just Xbox, just under Shadowless Space Edge. All right. Uh, Matt? Uh, Neo Master on everything. You know where to find me. Mm-hmm. Awesome, awesome. And I can be found on True Achievements, Discord, Xbox Live, Twitter, under the tag Chin Doctor, C H I N D O C T A. Good stuff. Thank you very much for listening to episode 108. Make sure you get your Leapfrog achievements. You'll probably be at three by the time you hear it. Actually, no, no, you'll probably still be at two. Um, make sure you get it. Just get your 10, get your badge, stay in the 100% club. Uh, ha 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 to both of you because you're not in that club. Thank you. Peace. See you later. Catches. <laughs>